Hey, deep fried greetings. How are you on this lovely Saturday as we get ready to start here? <laughs> it's funny, I hit the start button for stream. I'm like setting up and I hear uh, some rustling outside as my new, uh, my new chair arrived. And the FedEx guy puts it right outside my gate so I can't even open my gate to get to the chair. It's like, really, dude? And mind you, the guy's in sight. Yeah, ready for some mood side. <laughs> uh, and, I'm, and I'm like, I get the door cracked just enough so I can make eye contact with him. He looks back and then continues on to the FedEx truck. And I'm like, are you, are you serious, bro? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I managed to, like, push the gate long, far enough to actually wiggle my way out. Thankfully, I'm pretty thin. And at that point, I moved the box, you know, far enough away so I could actually open the gate. And I'm just... This, this is my life. This is my life. So, uh, so yeah, I'm, uh, whoever the FedEx driver is that dropped off my, my chair, you are, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, the only thing I could describe it would be sarcasm anyway. <laughs> I'm not, he's not my favorite person right now. <laughs> now granted, he doesn't know I got my spine operated on and that that was, uh, you know, very awkward and uncomfortable. Okay, well, no, all right, so I chatted, but yeah, yeah, like, my like, that. Oy, oy, oy. I'm already starting to chat away here. Welcome, everybody. I am Resplendent Seraph. Today we're going to be playing some Earthbound. And I'm just, I'm just, I'm irritated that that dude would literally trap me in my own house. And I'm, I'm like there. I saw, I like, I heard him pull up. I'm like, oh, cool. It's my chair. So I go downstairs to like help him get inside. And he just puts the box down right outside. Oh, why, thank you, Seiyu Polestar. <laughs> you are awesome. Uh, <laughs> that falls right in with the Polestar preschool. I'm assuming it's really... Hello, greetings. Feel free to be as chatty or lurk to your heart's content. We're literally just about to get started here. As I'm, as I'm complaining about the FedEx guy who trapped me in my house. And meanwhile, I crank the door open and I feel it hit the box. And I just, I make eye contact with the guy. And he just looks back and continues on to the truck. And it's like, really, dude? You can't just, like help me out here <laughs> i'm like what the hell so yes it is a beautiful south florida day it's a little hot outside but um but it is beautiful out i tried uh experimenting with having the window open but it's so sunny and bright that unless i really fiddle with my camera settings it just looks like uh <laughs> it's just this blinding light behind me hey freak bot how are you Oh, yep. <laughs> first person to know about my name. Well, we are playing Earthbound, to be fair, but I'm glad I could be the first person to get the username. It's always nice when uh, people get the in-jokes and, and the other references. So this is one of my favorite, favorite games. And depending on the day you ask me, this is my favorite RPG of all time. Although, we've, we've talked about that. My Mount Rushmore of RPGs is this game, it's Chrono Trigger, it's Final Fantasy VI, and it's Persona V. Um... Not too, too bad. Doing laundry. Ah, wrestling. <laughs> Excellent. Wrestling is playing today? I thought that was Friday night. There is something so good with a nice window open on a nice, on a nice day. Now, granted, it's a little warm here in South Florida to have the actual window open. But, uh, now feel the event. Ah, excellent. Tell Darkstar I said hi. <laughs> and we're gonna, we're gonna give the controller that he recommended another try. The first one was defective. Uh, started playing East, East Oath of Felgana on it. And uh, Backlash is going to die. Oh, that's why Backlash was trending on Twitter. That makes so much sense now. Okay. Now I now I understand. I'm like, I'm looking at it like, WD Backlash? Backlash? Is that an event or did something, ha did something happen? It's about 70 here where I'm at in Canada. That's, oh yeah, that's, is that unseasonably warm for Canada? I feel like that's probably nice still at this time of year. Um, so it's not too bad. So Florida ends up being like a, ver a real tropical type of environment. But the nice part about Florida is even though we don't have that many weeks of winter in the year, it never gets just increasingly like crazy blazing hot. Like I remember in Jersey, it would be very common for the summer in New Jersey to be hotter than it is here in Florida. Um, and so, and that was the case when I visited uh, a friend of mine up in Boston. I go up there and it's hotter there than it is down in here. And so, but it, but it's just, it's routinely very warm and humid 
where we're at here in Florida. So I think it's 84 or 82 outside right now, which is not too bad, but that's that's a little 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 warm to have the windows open. But when but when it does get down to about 70, deep fry, yeah, I absolutely will will open my windows. Um I mean I have to be a little careful because I don't have screen I don't have screens on my upstairs door windows, which I have to fix at some point. And I have a cat. So I've got visions of her deciding to explore the top side of my screened in patio. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to take too much of a chance with that. But uh, two weeks a year. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. And I don't know if we we rarely get above uh, 100. I don't I can't remember the last time it was actually 100 degrees. I think it's been years. Um, but but, you know, Freakbot may may correct me on that because we live in the same area. But uh, r routinely it will hang out in like the low 90s, mid 90s um during the summer months and we just we just kind of get roasted because it's constant that but it never gets any hotter it's not like texas where it's literally like 120 degrees in the summer i remember visiting my dad in dallas and it would just be insanely hot <laughs> so thankfully the florida being florida being a peninsula we get moderated by a lot of the water so yeah it never gets too cool but it never gets too warm yeah, yeah, it never really gets above uh of above, above 97 98. It it's very rare that it uh that it goes higher than that. I think it's more of the fact that we're just surrounded by water. I think that ends up being more of the moderating influence, but true. Uh high humidity will will act to help prevent that the temperature from going up uh as well. Yeah, Arizona gets crazy and you get like yeah, like he's talking about plastic mailboxes and trash cans will literally melt. So you better not, you better have metal because, because yeah, that stuff will absolutely bake in that desert heat. And it's also a dry heat. And at least for me, I think a dry heat is so much worse to be in than, um, than like this humid heat. Granted, humidity is sticky and it's uncomfortable and everything else. But man, that dry heat, that is brutal, um, in my humble opinion. In any event, let's get started here. Uh, when last we played, and I'm 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 gonna give it a second before I switch to the in playing here. Um, when last we played Earthbound, we rescued Paula, and uh, we have one of the longest runways in the world because of our elevation and the warm summer temperatures. Oh, nice! That is that is a cool fact. That's that is <laughs> as a, as the expression goes. That is a fun fact. Yeah, I can see that. Very cool. So yes, thank you. Thank you, Seven Paul Star, for the follow. For the follow or bleh, I could totally English today, I promise. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. And we're now only one follower away from that magic 50 number, so that's kind of cool. Maybe we'll hit it today. That would be nice. We're getting closer. So close. We are so close. Any event. All right, now that Manafin is up and running, now we'll switch to in-game and we'll get this started and hopefully. This controller works, but even if it doesn't, it's 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 an RPG. If one of the buttons gets stuck, it's not like it's an action game like East, where we're like, oh, oh, this is game over. Uh, my controller doesn't work. <laughs> that was that was not fun. That was that was that was that was not fun. And we were doing well on Garland, too, uh, before that happened. Now oh, it would help if I actually turn on my local sound here. Let's just make sure all the audio sounds good. And I also get used to now the buttons being switched. But I don't think that's going to take me too long to figure out. Let's see. How's my audio look once it actually kicks in here? So far, that, those levels look good. Ba -da -da. Oh, I was, I was a little early. <laughs> All right, those, those levels look good. That's audible, but it shouldn't be washing me out. When last we played, um, we, what's going on here? Are we not registering? What's what's the story here? Okay. <laughs> right. Give me one second. It's a new controller, and so Menuffin doesn't know what it is. 
I'm like, why, why are none of these buttons registering? And I'm like, oh, oh yeah. Would help if I actually told it what, what it's doing. There we go. Input. There we go. I just have to, uh, I just have to program it really fast. What's going on here? Why is this? What is going on here? Why is this not letting me? Do you not register? Are you in a wrong mode? What's going on here? What is the story here? Why does this controller not want to register? I could always crank out the old one downstairs, but I would like to use the new one I just got. That would be oh so lovely. <laughs> Why, thank you. I, I hope so. Hopefully we can get this started. Uh, it didn't occur to me because uh, I tested this on Oath of Felgana. It just kind of worked. And I'm like, right, I have to tell Minofin how to actually use it. Is this the button I need to? How do I change this here? This is a good question. How do I change this? Um, hmm. Oh, Seraph, why did I not do this? I didn't even it didn't even occur to me that um that this would be an issue here. And of course the LEDs on this thing are so small. I think it's on the wrong input. I think it needs to be on Windows and it's on switch. So how do I tell it to go from that to that? I think I need that instruction manual. Uh give me one second, folks. Let me figure out if I could get my own controller working. Because here on here on Resplendent Seraph's channel, I do strive not to be too professional. Give me two seconds. <laughs> Again. Let's try this again. Time correct. And I also brought up my backup controller. So if this takes too long, I'll just plug that in and we'll get to gaming. So I don't want this to take forever. That would be super lame. I appreciate the good luck. <laughs> it turns out I need it more than I thought I did. Okay, so how do we frequently ask questions? Go to gullykit.com, go to support. Thank you. That's such a great, um, that's such a great frequently asked questions. Okay, mode button, press for more than two seconds. Okay, perfect. Okay, so there's the operating mode LED. That's probably what the problem is. It's in the wrong operating mode. So, I mean, it obviously worked because I did a little bit of Oath of Filgana last night, but it doesn't say. Oh, that's Japanese, okay. Let's see, I don't need that mode, I don't need that mode. What is, okay, so I see uh, operating mode LED. Okay, how do I change the operating mode? Wait, what are we doing? Sorry, next match started. I'm trying to get the controller to work um, and it's it's in switch mode. So it's, it's, um, it's, act, it's ready to get plugged into a switch instead of, um, the controller doesn't have any key movements, arm actually shuts down. Double clicking the mode key also shuts down the system. Okay, but which one's the mode key? Um, so I'm just trying to configure the, um, the controller to work with, uh, with Minofin here. But I have to get it so Minofin can actually see the controller, and I need the controller to be in Windows, uh, X mode. It's got a couple of modes here, but of course it's not saying what it is. Maybe it's just this. Does this change it? Does that hold down? 
No, that doesn't do anything. Okay. That's not a mode button. It would be nice if it would tell me what it is. Mm. All right, you know what? I guess we're just gonna go with the other controller. I really didn't wanna go with the other controller because I, I wanna get used to the buttons the way they are, but all right. I clearly, these instructions are terrible. It does not tell you how to change it. It just tells you what the operating mode LED is. And it's like, oh, and you know, you can change this, but it doesn't, it doesn't act, despite all this, it doesn't tell you how to do it. It just gives this very vague, uh, it tells me how to turn it off. That's nice. And it tells me how to go into assisted aiming mode and uh, tells me how to clear all the settings, but it doesn't actually tell me how to change the operating mode that I could tell. That's super awesome. That's that's super awesome. Uh, switch, it tells me to switch the pairing mode, but not the actual mode. That's so annoying. That's so annoying. All right, fine. Logitech, Logitech controller, you're up. That's okay. That's okay. You have a, uh, oh, you know what? That's not the first time that um, somebody has not made a sound. Uh, so it must, be, I guess I have to check it. Well, there we go. And there we go. And now we, now we have 50. Woohoo. That's exciting. Great. We managed to, we managed to get 50 while I'm fumbling around getting a controller layout working. So yeah, my, my emulator doesn't see the new controller I got, which is very unfortunate. That's okay. So we'll just quit Menuffin and we'll reopen and we'll make it work with the new controller. Well, my old controller. This controller kind of stinks, but at least we'll get to play Earthbound today and I'm not gonna worry about it. So I thank you. Uh, <laughs> thank you, uh, where, where is it? Uh, Wow, I can't, I can't pronounce this dude's name. LTP Lissemon225. I appreciate it. You are my 50th follower. I appreciate it. This is a momentous occasion. <laughs> we figure out our um, Super Nintendo. There we go. Input. Now let's try this again. Mm -hmm. there we go. Yeah, now it's letting me configure it. Oh, that's super annoying. I wonder why it wouldn't, well, I know I, I, I guess I just have to figure out on the new controller how to switch the mode from switch, which I guess Steam doesn't care. It's like, oh, it's a switch controller. I know how this works. Done. Uh, and it just kind of worked with Oath of Filgana. Um, and uh, Alt Shift 1. No, no, I know how to set up controllers in Minofin. So Freakbot, what, I'm, what, I'm, what, the, what the problem is, is this controller has a couple of different modes of how it operates. It operates as a Switch controller, but it also operates as Windows and Android. And what I'm guessing is that unless it's in Windows mode, Menofin can't see it. Because I was trying to I was trying to configure the buttons and it wouldn't it wouldn't register any of them. Um, and so that's what I think is the reason. But yeah, I'm configuring it with with this controller just fine. And so kind of away we go here. Uh, did I already do button Y? I think we already did button Y. Yes, we did. Uh, left shoulder, although I don't know if Earthbound uses the shoulder buttons. Ah, that's not what I wanted. Let's do this for select. And we'll do that for start. Okay. There we go. Game list, Earthbound. Let's try this again. This time without the oops. In game. Here we go. Uh, I was in a boss battle, brought its HP to zero. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Oh, that is that is definitely the universe telling you it's time for lunch. <laughs> oh my God, that's such bullshit. Oh my God. But anyway, so no big deal. Well, the only problem is we can't now really test the controller for East tomorrow. In any event, all right. Not the end of the world. I was kind of hoping to use my new controller that, you know, the good one, not this complete cheap POS. It's okay. We're gonna continue. <laughs> Let's see, where are we? Okay, so we got all this. Oh, you know, I completely forgot to mess with the filters for the looks and all that. All right, so let's take a look at the, uh, man, uh, the map. 
Where are we going? I think we're actually going to the department store first. I think that's what we'll want to do. How much money do we have? No, we don't have that much money. Let's get money. We're going to go to the department store and we're going to do some shopping. But what we're also going to do... Let's go goods. Let's check out Paula. No, you need to give that big bottle rocket to Jeff. Yes. Prom is now Ness is full. Uh, you could also give that bottle rocket to Jeff. No, I can't. Let's see, what can we get rid of? Um, I don't think I need some of these things. Let's see, what can we get rid of? I don't know if we ever use the bad key machine again. Uh, did we do the mines yet? Nope, the mine is coming up. <laughs> that is definitely coming up. That's a great section. Uh, I really enjoy the boss battles. Don't mind doing it again. Yeah, it's just, that's brutal when you get it to zero and the game just freezes. So, an older game, another sort of retro game, Sony's Legend of Dragoon. There was a bug where after you beat a boss in Maru, the game would freeze afterwards when you're trying to leave. I think it was when you're trying to leave, but it may have frozen at the end of the boss battle entirely. And that was so frustrating. I cannot tell you how many times I beat that boss just for the game to freeze over and over and over and over and over again. Um, yeah, I don't remember what the exact issue with it was, but I was talking to somebody and they were like, oh, that bug, here's how you prevent it from happening. I was just like, what the hell? So I remember feeling what the hell. I'd have to look it up again to see what the exact bug was and what the, how to avoid it. So do I. I also have the physical game, copy of that game too. If uh, if I had a working PS1 or a PS2, uh, I could, and a capture card, I could just play that uh, on the original. Uh, most likely greatest hits though. I think that's the version I have. I think I have the greatest hits version also. I'd have to go downstairs to my to my rack and see. Anyway, I think we might want to call Paula and grab some of these things because it's not going to let us sell the Magnum air gun. And I don't think we need that ruler for anything. And I don't remember that HP sucker being particularly good, but we may as well keep it. And I don't remember if we ever need the pack of bubble gum again, but I think we do. So I think we're going to have, we're going to store the ruler, the Magnum air gun, and let's see. Oh, and the jar of fly honey, because we never need the jar of fly honey again. So let's do that. It would freeze uh, if I beat a boss in a certain way. Did it a different way, it would let me continue. Are we talking about Legend of Dragoon? Yeah. Uh, it, that sounds, that sounds right, but I, I couldn't tell you the specific to it, but that sounds right. So let's, uh, call the Scargo Express. Yep. I need you to do me a pickup. Yep. Perfect. Let's do this. Store some items because we're going to get to a point where we don't have Paula in the party, uh, soon for various, for, for an undisclosed reason. I find retro consoles all the time. That, yeah, I, you know, I don't, but I'm also not really looking, so I don't even know where to look. Yes, we can cover the bill. So let's take... Oh, we need to have him give the broken machine to Jeff here, too. Let's see. We don't need the jar of fly honey. Let's take the magnum air gun. And... Let's take that ruler. I don't remember the ruler ever being useful. Perfect. Thank you. Now we go up oh, and kind of messing around here. Granted, I could have done this off stream. Give to Jeff. Perfect. Since he's the one that actually uses the bottle rockets. Yeah, this controller just feels awkward in my hand, but it's it's earthbound. It's a turn based game. It doesn't need to feel good. I think this, to be fair, this controller, I think, was all of 15 bucks. It's kind of like a Nokia controller, too. I mean, this thing is just, has super endurance. It's just, just kind of a shitty feeling controller. It's unfortunate that it just doesn't feel very good. 
Onward to the department store. I think this is what we want. Well, we already went into the Monotoli building. Didn't really have a whole lot to do there. Wonder why the department store is closed. Oh, is the department store closed? Oh, okay. So we can't go in there yet. Yeah. Oh yeah, this place is gonna be interesting. Well, we can't talk to Mr. Monotoli yet because I think we tried and... I don't remember what's going on here. What are we supposed to do? Oh, that's the lady that's gonna try to attack us and yep, she's going to attack us. <laughs> Extra cranky lady. Yeah, we got our, uh, so since we're starting a new stream here, um, standard turn-based game. We got a bunch of options. We could either do bash, psychic powers, we could defend, uh, we could use an item, or we could just auto fight, or we could run away. I'm just gonna bash her. And same thing. Yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna do that. We're just gonna bash this lady. She's got a pretty high defense. She wielded a shot. We did 81 points of damage to Jeff. Holy shit, lady. Oh my god. Did like half the damage to Jeff in one hit, just hitting her with her shopping bag. Christ, the hell is in that? Although, boy, we got a lot of XP for that. So we might have to do the mine first. You know what I think we have to do? I think we have to go here. Yep, let's buy a ticket. see the runaway five but oh, we'll talk to the manager that's a man all right that's a one mad karen <laughs> so you're a 185 fan huh what excuse me no no this man owes me a million bucks if they break their contract they'll be in deep doo-doo with the police police will probably say hey you guys or something like that yeah i don't remember doing the mine before moonside but it's been a bit I'm pretty sure we do the mine before Moonside, but yeah, it's 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 been a while since I've played this game. Um, probably been about 10 years. It's not been that long, um, but yeah, I'm trying to remember the exact order of what to do, even though I remember for the most part what we're about to be doing. Unless you're able to pay a million dollars on their behalf, you'd have to find buried gold. You'd never be able to pay such a human sum of money. Ho, 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 ho. So I think once we hear about that and we go back at this point the mine should be open but we'll talk to the runaway five we'll see a show and then we'll leave when Ness arrives the runaway five told me to let him in so please come in we owe you guys so much sorry <laughs> to meet Geldegarde Monatoli you'll need our help I don't exactly know why it's just a hunch we know how to sing but we don't know how to handle money or women do up to do up <laughs> Again, we've been cheated by the theater owner. Dude, guys, I just left you like a week ago. How do you owe her a million dollars after a fucking week, right? <laughs> We're stuck here with a phony contract. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're so helpless. Really helpless and hopeless. Yuck, yuck, yuck. You guys are cool as shit, but boy, are you shitty with managers of money. Hookers and blow. <laughs> Have I got a bombshell for you tonight, kids? Ah! Kaboom! The Runaway Five! Yeah! Three, two, one, go! <laughs> and so, yeah, we'll watch this scene. You know what wallet does that? This used to be your ringtone? That's an awesome ringtone. That's a button. That's a fucking button. Okay.
I think I just figured out the controller. So the next time I have a next time I have a break or something when I get a quick snack, I'll fiddle I'll fiddle with the controller more. So that was a very convenient. Uh, or if I get really tired of this controller and decide to try it again, I really wish I'd kind of played around with this with this game uh, since I got it yesterday. Of course, it also helps that Amazon completely effed me over and didn't return the. Uh, I didn't give, do my controller replacement until yesterday. Let's go let's go back here. I feel like once it's ready, though, they call you. That's the weird part. I'm pretty sure they call... Oh, okay. Oh, I could have lifed up Jeff first. That was stupid, but whatever. There's going to be another one, though. Let's just life up Jeff and be done with it. That way, when we see the next magic butterfly, we don't have to worry about it. No, better there we go. That's an awesome ringtone. I ended up, uh, you know, that's a lost art, right? Custom ringtones. <laughs> it's a shame that most of the apps that help you really change the ringtone are riddled with ads. You have to pay for them or anything else. But yeah, you know, I should redownload. Uh, some of my old custom ringtones. I still have them in the folder lying around somewhere. Right, so I'm thinking once we cruise up here, I am going to see. Yep, here we go. Because we need the, uh, I think we need that to free the runaway five first. Yeah, let's just stay the night. Oh, I forgot to give Jeff the broken machine. That was the whole point of that. All right. That's cool. This time, yes, give the broken machine to Jeff. And not the end of the world. Okay. Let's call Dad. We'll save. Yeah, I didn't actually store any of that money. I've just got it in my pocket. Hopefully, I don't die because that's going to be very expensive. <laughs> Yeah, I had uh, I've I've had a couple of really fun ringtones. In particular, oh, let's talk to these people. I have lots of work to do. I can't seem to move. I'm so curious about the dig. <laughs> yep. So if we have a heal, if we need a healer. We can come to this guy. I think you should dig somewhere else. <laughs> if they have a live broadcast for the dig, I can check out the dig while relaxing on the floor, I'm watching them dig for a while. I wonder what they'll find. Go check this out. Hopefully not get sunstroke by the time we get in here. Hey, buddy. What's going on? I didn't have a problem digging until this. I found a maze. Lots of monsters appeared, so I couldn't proceed. Over under when you get poisoned in this, <laughs> in this mine. Oh, man. It happens a lot. Um, I'm going to say four encounters is the over under. Don't forget towels, right? There's five big moles. If I beat the monsters, I can continue on. I think I have a bleeding ulcer from worrying too much. So, uh, Psy Alpha will... Yeah, oh yeah, shit, I don't have an exit mouse. Is it worth it to go all the way back to Tucson to get an exit mouse? It might be. Yeah, I kind of feel like I'm going to need the mouse. You know what? Let's do that. You guys are right. You guys are absolutely right. Let's go grab a mouse. The wet towel isn't so bad, although it's convenient because it... Oh, fucking things. Because you can use Psy Healing to recover... Uh, there's a mouse in the mine. Oh, there's a mouse in the mine. We don't... You're right. There's an exit mouse in this mine. I don't have to go back. I totally forgot there are exit mice in this mine. Completely forgot. Hey, Buffalo, since you're right here. Nah, we both surprised each other. It's fine. I completely forgot that there are mice in this mine. That would have been embarrassing. Go all the way back to, to Tucson to get a new one. Yeah, I need, I need a new one because I used one previously. 
So I do need an exit mouse. I mean, I might not necessarily need to use it, but if we get into trouble, it'll be good to have. Ah, we gained a level. Ooh, an offense went up by three. Nice. Wow. He went up by 24. That is a nice upgrade. All right, nice level up. Let's try this again. This time without Seraph being a moron. <laughs> right, the exit mice are just over on the left somewhere. There's the snake that's going to poison me. That's another snake that's probably going to poison me. Yeah, all right. Well, let's let's begin. <laughs> yeah, I always get into trouble with this place. This place sucks. Um, I don't remember what they're weak to. I think it's freeze is what they're weak to. I think. All right. Thirsty coil snake. It's got really good. Yep. Rollable freeze and paralysis. And Paula got poisoned. So one, one, a whole one <laughs> encounter and we got poisoned. But right, I forgot they are vulnerable to paralysis. So I can do it 10 times. Is it worth doing now that I've already gotten poisoned? Mm, is it worth doing while I'm already gotten poisoned? Yeah, let's just do that. Be done with it. Yep, and now Ness is poisoned, of course. Damage. Ugh, I hate these coil snakes. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, it became tame now. <laughs> now, the convenient part about this is you get that free... Yeah, just end it. So, healing will cure the poison. And unfortunately, it does require Sal, Psi Beta, or Healing Beta. Healing Alpha won't do it. But Healing Alpha will recover the Sunstroke. Yeah, I know, one battle. That's just bad. That's bad luck. Um, so since we're... Just at the very beginning, we got a fucking mad duck and a rope here. Should have took the under, right? Right? No kidding. Uh, yeah, we'll just go after the new span. The mad duck's kind of ridiculous. But yeah, we're going to get poisoned a good amount in this. It just... It's how it goes. But that is one of the things that's really helpful about having that free in, essentially right outside. If we get into trouble, we just go out, and we're going to be doing, using that a lot with the exit mice. I love that music, though. Dun, dun, dun. Yep, somebody's got it. Not that big a deal, though. Healing Jeff. Your sunstroke. Yep, stay the night. That didn't take long. There we go, fix the broken machine. Ah, uh, the counter psi unit. I do remember that counter psi unit being pretty useful. Sure, let's just do that. <laughs> let's not do that again. Exit. <laughs> yeah, we all should have taken the under. One, one, one bloody encounter and we got poisoned <laughs> just the game reminding us hey we're not taking it easy on you Seraph all right that's one of the reasons why I, when I encounter the snakes I vaguely remember just paralyzing it even though it's a little expensive and just being done with it come on Ness go 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 damn it okay standard fighting attack that's fine and now this battle's over Perfect. Now we just bash it and get the XP. I love Jeff's spy ability, though. That way, it, I just... You know, it's like, eh, I vaguely remember that, but it's like, eh, know what? Just have Jeff spy and be sure. Ah. Go away, snake. really didn't feel like fighting another one. There. All right. <sighs> I don't think the mice were to the left. But this is okay. And ducks. Oh, they're running from me. Well, the rope charged me, but the ducks just ran away. That would have been nice. Yeah, we'll just go after the new span. And then we'll deal with the ducks. <laughs> 
I love that. Mad Duck A fell down. <laughs> this game is so much fun. Yeah, I'm gonna need a life of Paula already. Fortunately, Paula just does not have a whole lot in the way of hit points. Even late game, I think she only gets up to like 300 or something. Uh, I remember her being fairly squishy even late game. May not be that extreme. There we go. I love this. These moles. <laughs> I'm one of the masters of this hole. There are five masters in all. We are all moles, of course. I believe I'm the third strongest amongst us. Take your best shot. Yeah, they're protected by a power shield. And of course, power shields will reflect shielded damage. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Okay, well... Let's just get out. Is it really not going to let me run away from this? Okay. Yeah, it's not going to let me run away from the boss batter. Oh, Jesus. Let's see if I can resurrect uh, Jeff here. You know what? I could have just had Ness heal himself. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, I figured it. Yeah, I figured out you can't run away from that one. Uh, I need to have uh, Jeff spy it. <laughs> so that was quick. Yeah. Everybody should recover, right? Or do I have to go to a hospital? Hopefully I don't have to go to a hospital. Yeah, all right. Well, the healer outside will heal us. Yeah, unlucky start. Um, I vaguely remember being able to paralyze, uh, do paralysis on those, but I guess not. Uh, that's not what I was going for here. No, that's not... Okay, shit. I'm gonna have to go all the way back to fucking Foreside to go to the hospital, aren't I? Alright, well... Okay, not the most stellar beginning, but that's all right. Yeah, probably. I, I just wanted Jeff to spy on it, but the problem is it killed Jeff, like, right out of the gate. But that's okay. We'll take a nice leisurely walk, and we'll chat while, uh, while I do that. The problem is there's no real convenient bus sign to get us back to Foresight from where we're at. We either have to walk all the way left and then take the bus uh, back east. It's about the same amount of time. This is okay. Not the end of the world. All right, the hospital is all the way up, and then of course it's all the way up as far. It's as far away up there as possible, just so that it's really inconvenient for me to get all the way up there. Super awesome. Great, great, great. Super. Okay, so yeah, there's no way to really cheese the moles, but so fun part. <laughs> They all say that they're the third strongest. So it's one of the gimmicks of that particular boss fight. And there are five of them. They're really not all that bad. Um, there's the hospital. And so they all say that they're the third best because they fought. They each fought themselves. So they each have four fights. They won twice and they lost twice because they're all the same strength. So they all unilaterally came to the same conclusion that they're the third strongest when they're actually the same strength. Yep. It's fine. Jeff? There we go. Alright, so now we're back to full. We can get the hell out of here. We can go back to the mine. And this time we're going to beat the ever-living shit out of there. That's true, it could buy a teddy bear. Um, granted, the department store is closed, but we could go to the drugstore and buy a teddy bear. We really wanted to. I don't think that's going to be necessary. Although, yeah, those moles can really put a hurt on you. But I mean, 
It hit Jeff and killed him outright. And then it got a smash. It's just, that was a very, that was a very, very unlucky way that went down. <clears throat> Ugh, it's gonna smack Jeff a whole bunch of times. There we go. We smashed you. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think we'll need to resort to a teddy bear. And the main issue is a teddy bear has no defense. It's gonna kill the teddy bear pretty much in one hit. Two if we're lucky. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking we'll, we'll roll the dice and go without, but it is an option. That is very, very true. Jeff. Thank you. And now we're back at full. And we'll try this again. Yeah, the exit mouse is really nice in the mine. Because then you could fight a mole, use an exit mouse, recuperate, go back in, find another mole or two, get out. Because you're gonna run we're gonna run out of Psy, uh, for sure between paralyzing snakes and using freeze on the moles. There's only, we, we just don't have the Psy reserves to get through the mine in one shot. That's the main reason why we're gonna be kind of exiting and going back in a couple of times. This is okay. Oh, somebody got that again. since we had to do that anyway. Spend the night, sure. Spend the night, get the freebie. It sucks that if somebody gets knocked unconscious, we have to go all the way back to four side, but not the end of, it's really not the end all be all. We still made money in that whole exchange. <laughs> we actually legitimately made money in that exchange. Oh no, we didn't, because we died and we lost a shit ton of money. Yeah, that, that was really, that was financially painful. Now we've got, yeah, instead of 15,000, now we have this 7,000. Oof. Yeah, that was brutal. I need to not do that again. What I really should have done was drop all that money in an ATM. This is why you drop the money in an ATM. Of course, I should practice what I preach here. I think I knew what my logic was there. If I died, I was just gonna load the game. And I forgot that part. Now I've already saved it, so it's too late. This okay. I'm gonna need more water in a minute. At this stage, we're gonna make that money back. It's not that big of a deal. It's just I have to be really careful not to die again. I don't think I've got anything that would, um, because yeah, I don't have the Horn of Life. Although I should buy a Horn of Life. I should just go back to, um, that's what I should do. I should go back to Saturn Valley and buy a Horn of Life. It's expensive, but it was sure as hell would have been cheaper than dealing with all that bullshit. Would have been a lot cheaper than dealing with all that. I couldn't get to the Mad Duck in time. The Mad Ducks will run away from you, but the ropes charge you. Oh, the noose man. Whatever. Oh, fucker. Okay. Well, overkill the noose man, sure. Stupid thing made Ness lose five side points, though. That sucks. Let's get this mole out of the way. Figure out what's in that treasure chest. And one hit point is not a big deal. But Jeff got whacked pretty good. Let's do that. Okay. Now we're gonna fuck up this mole. One of the masters is. <laughs> We're all moles, of course. I'm the third strongest. They're all the third strongest. <laughs> and I love how number three is even in the background of this shit. So let's see. Hull. 
I'm actually going to use a shield, a, a shield on her because that way the mold does half damage at least. Let's not do that yet. Let's just shoot because we need to get that shield down. Definitely don't want the power shield reflecting a bottle rocket. That would be terrible. There we go. Now it shouldn't kill Paula outright. Do the same on Jeff. Prevent you from getting killed in one hit again. And let's bring down the shield. That should bring down the shield now. Nope, it still has one more hit. There we go. Now none of my characters should get killed in one hit. Emphasis on should. <laughs> We know how that goes. Ah, uh, yeah, just bash. And freeze beta again and shoot. Oh, okay. Well, that takes care of that. Okay. Ooh, we, yep. As soon as I saw that, I'm like, Jeff gained a level. Sweet. Ah, that's the way that should go. Q capsule. Using on Jeff. Yep. Jeff's IQ goes up by another one. So we could go up this way, but then we'll get pretty... Fuck that. Let's, uh... Let's see. What does Seraph want to do here? I'm actually inclined to go back out so I don't get too lost. You know what? Let's go for it. Yeah, those... Those are not great. Under this thing. Paralyze it. Yeah, the exit mice are in an intersection now that I'm remembering it. Damn. Okay, right. Not poisonous. Cool. And now we've won this battle. Cool. Okay. We probably have enough side to make it to one more mole before we'll have to with withdraw. It'd be nice if I could figure out where the where the mice are. Oh, right. We just went back to the main. This is the beginning. Right. If I go down, I'll see the miner. Yep. Okay. So that's the circle here. Good. All right. Got a noose man, a mad duck. Yeah, sure. I'll deal with the noose man. We'll go Yeah, we'll go back down. Try and get re refamiliarize myself with the mine here. Yeah, I'm gonna good. Please do that to Jeff. Don't do that to any of my characters that actually have side points. Now it's over. Yeah, that doesn't work until it's able to concentrate. A little more XP. I guess the question is, do I want to go down or do I want to go up and over? I think I do want to go down. It's a poisonous snake. Thank God if you make a mistake like that, the game lets you go back and do the turn again. There's nothing worse than queuing up and going, oh, I didn't want to do that. And then you're stuck with it. And it's like, but I'm not even done in putting all my commands. Just, just let me go back. Yeah, once, once we find the exit mice, then we could just make a beeline to the exit mice every time we have to come back into this place. We, yeah, this is the only way to go. So, yep. Ugh. I think I would have rather fought the, the bee or whatever it was. We only have so much of this. Of course, not knowing where the exit mice are is going to take make this take longer. Thank <laughs> you. 
because without it, if we get to a certain point where I'm starting to approach it with Ness's Psy points, although Ness has a Psy Caramel, I could just use that. Oh, good. Paula's level went up. Thank goodness. But we're going to have to somehow make our way out of this mine if we don't... If we don't find those exit mice, which is a lot of progress to have to get through. Right, I should have lifed up Paula. <laughs> okay. Now you could roll the dice and see if it'll poison you and just heal the poison, but it's it's more psi point efficient. Okay, well, I don't think Jeff can do that. Yeah, I've just got a bunch of a bunch of this stuff. Although I might just you know what, let's give the skip sandwich Paula. And we can give that to Jeff. We cannot use that. See, I must have gone a different way because otherwise I would have gotten the present. Here. Ah, yes. Cool. Good. Good, good. Okay. Croissant. That was a good use of that croissant. All right, so now we go, we've got up, we've got left, and we've got down we can go. May as well commit to down, since we have to fight these things anyway now. Oh, all right. Fucking gigantic ant. If I remember correctly, the gigantic ant does not like freeze at all. Pretty sure it doesn't. Pretty sure that's the gigantic ants issue. It does not like that. Anyway, yeah, it's vulnerable to freeze. <clears throat> ah, it's vulnerable to fire and freeze. But freeze is cheaper. So freeze is what we'll use. That should be it for the gigantic ant. Yep, it is. So it it's fire and freeze. <laughs> never, never got that. <laughs> now fire, the I mean fire is useful because it would also hit, um, it would also hit the snake, but the snake's paralyzed. So I guess it, it's situational. Like if there are two titanic ants. I would absolutely be using my be using fire because then that would be more side point efficient. So then we'd be hitting two for the price of one. But yeah, if it's just one, we'll just do we'll just do freeze and do more damage to it. Ugh. Let's see if we can scroll these fuckers off. A little bit more. I really don't feel like fighting. <laughs> sure, we'll take a bomb. Ooh, mad ducks. Yep. Ah, oh, damn it. The stupid hanged man was there. I was hoping I could get a, just an easy one. You know what? Fire on the mad ducks. Just to... By the time we do all this, the mad ducks will be able to concentrate. I'd rather just get a nice little opening salvo and hopefully just kill these things outright. Besides, Ness is going to run out of side points before Paula does. Hell, I probably will just use a side caramel here. That's it for the noose man. They really don't give me enough XP for that to be worth it. Auto kill? Thank you. I will take the free XP. Mad Ducks are negligible XP at this point. I'm really the third strongest master. I'm destroying you now. <laughs> um, shield, Paula. 
Ooh, we got freeze. Um, theta? Is that theta? Or is that gamma? That might be gamma. But yeah, we got the new freeze. Boom! It's over now. I almost wonder if it's not even worth it to attack it at this point. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, let's just let's just do it. Although I don't think I have to do that anymore. Yeah, I think that's gamma, and then the one after that will be omega. Um, thinking that's the gamma, the simple for gamma. But I think freeze beta will kill it here. Hell, freeze alpha will probably kill it. Almost killed Jeff. Guardian Digger's dead. Yep. XP. Up. Jeff, for sure. Wow, not even full, huh? Okay. Thinking I still will need to use a capsule. Is that? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Let's upgrade my defense for sure. We can get rid of the silver blaze bracelet. We'll have to sell that somewhere. Now the question is, do I use an exit mouse now, or do I try to go for one more mole? Let's try and kill one more mole. Because we've killed two moles now. So while we're already this deep, let's try and kill another. Come on, get it? Yes, we got it. Goodbye, Nooseman. Really, guys? Damn it. Jesus Christ, these guys love to drain my S my side points. They must have a really high dodge. Because we do seem to miss them a lot. A lot of that's probably from the Nooseman. Ugh, fucking Nooseman. That. And I guess once we get back to the exit mouse intersection, what we'll try to do is we'll try to go left rather than... You know what? I think if we go up, though. I think up is shorter. Okay. All are going ape shit on a uh, noose man here. Okay, Paula, shit. <laughs> if I'd known you were in a smash, I probably would have just gone in for the attacks. But this way you can't poison us. It works. And Paula doing most of the heavy lifting in that battle. Yeah, Jeff got another level here. Kind of a mini level there. We just gained a couple of points. Nothing even really all that substantial. Fuck. Two of them. Ugh. Damn it. Fuck it. Let's just see what this does. See if we could just kill them both before they even get to go. Yep. Oh, I hate it when that happens. It doesn't even work. Like, come on, man. Don't do that to me. We killed it, though. Yeah, 13 side points. Oof, that's rough. Yeah, let's just kill this thing. And then we'll, we'll use an exit mouse. We're actually okay health-wise, but it's the side points that are the problem. Of course, using Freeze Gamma instead of being a little more efficient. Holy shit. Right, yeah, that Freeze Gamma does 
unleash a lot of damage. And Freeze Omega is really inefficient. Here are the exit mice. All right. I'm trying to remember if I should go up or over. All right, we got this. Secret herb. Ooh, we got a secret herb. What is that again? This is my least favorite. Yeah, this part does take a while. <laughs> May revive a friend who's unconscious. Also works well on poison, nausea, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's basically healing gamma. Also effective when you have paralysis or you've been diamondized. So we're going to keep that secret herb. That is useful, but I think it's time to use the exit mouse. Yeah, let's get out of here. Let's... Let's recover. We'll save. I don't know. I don't really mind. I don't really mind this part, but it can take a while because, again, just by the makeup of it, it's, um, you end up not really having the resources to get all of your way through it. So you really have to come at peace with the whole, yeah, you're going to go in. Now of 90. Yep. Okay. We've we basically recovered the amount of money we've lost. So that's good. Ooh, we're going to gain a level the next time we go into a fight. Sweet. So as long as you accept the fact that you're going to be making multiple ventures into this mine, you're, you're okay. If you think you're doing it in one, although I've done it before, I have, I have done it. It can be done, but it's, it's really hard. Ugh, really? Paula gets sunstroke. Well, I had to use five side points right out of the gate there. Wow, that's a bad luck spawn for the snake. Cool. But at least it gave me a a um magic butterfly as an apology. This way. And then over here is where we came down. That's the hole that comes down from up there. So as long as we go down, we can make our way back to the intersection with the exit mice, get a new one. Almost back to the exit mice. Nope. Don't feel like fighting you right now. Nope. Ah, fuck. Sometimes you can't. As long as they get hung up on a wall, you can get away with that. And then there are times like that where it's like, eh, I can't really get away with that. But that's how you would get through this with just like one run killing all five moles. It's, you, you don't have enough to, um... Unfortunately, you just don't have enough psi points to kill all of the moles in one go. At least I don't think so. And all the enemies becomes a resource issue. All right, so we got shield beta. All right, Paula. Her IQ went up by three. That's nice. And her side points went up by a lot. That's helpful. We need that considering how expensive freeze is. Mm, yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. Yeah, freeze beta is more than sufficient. <laughs> and we don't need to charge that much Psy into it. Kill that thing. Let's give me an exit mouse, please. We already went down, so now we just have to worry about up and to the left. So let's... Let's go up. Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you, Magic Butterfly. And to the right is a present. We don't need that anymore. Perfect. All. And we got a new shield. So this is a power shield. This will end up deflecting back. Right? Shield beta. I think this makes a power shield. So let's do a power shield on Paula. I think that's what that does. 
I think it's more efficient to do freeze beta twice than freeze omega once. I think we do more damage with two freeze betas than one freeze omega, I believe. But considering how much damage this thing could do, let's just do the freeze omega and be done with it. Yeah! Fuck you, die! <laughs> I mean, we'd have to do it twice anyway, so let's just kill it in one shot. That will take. We'll use it on Ness. There we go. Ugh, what a pain in the ass. Well, Paul is using fire. Not even messing around with these dipshits. Doesn't kill them in one shot, damn. Now they're just, just gonna do some ticky tack damage to me. That's annoying. <laughs> I love that. Do nothing because I'm held up for the moment. Uh, pseudo paralyzed. It's not really paralysis, you're just held. But yeah, I don't want to waste my. Um... I don't want to waste that. So, yep. We'll do fire one more and I should. That should do it. That should kill these guys. And that'll be the end of the other two. Really should be anyway. Oh, it isn't. Wow. Fuck. All right. Well, now one bash will do it. Whoever gets to go first. Jeff gets to go first. And they will die. Forever. So now I need to wipe up some. We're doing all right. We have two more moles left. Go see what this is about. Oh, well, since they're in the same area, since the ant is also vulnerable to fire, we'll hit it with both. Should. Oh, wow, it didn't. Oh, of course I'm poisoned. Funny how there are so many different things down here that will poison you. There's the snakes and there's the ants. What am I doing? Right. Sarah for the brain fart there. Sure, take the super bomb. Uh, actually, give that to. Oh. Wow, we're all full here. Jeez, man. All right, I'll have Ness use a bomb next time we go into combat with anything. And that'll be the end of that. Well, this will be funny. <laughs> oh, you have to use it on one thing. Uh, but sure, we use the bomb on the mad duck, fine, fuck it. We're gonna pick on it in particular. I guess the super bomb is what hits everything. Jesus. Yeah, I think we're okay. We'll do one more, and yeah. That should be it for all these guys, pretty much.
But now we'll bash you guys and that'll be the end of you. Let's see, how much XP do we get from that? Not enough to make it worth it, I'm sure. Well, 3,000 XP, that's actually not terrible. I'll demonstrate the power of being third to you. <laughs> oh, these guys are funny. Oh, that's a C's coming. <laughs> Ow. Excuse me. Sorry. We'll have Paula just do her, her auto win on it. I should have just had Jeff defend rather than even take any damage on that. Because Paula's just going to kill it outright here. So if we can get to the next mole without... Wow, his offense went up by three? Shit. Not bad. All his level went up. Wow, we all leveled up. Sweet. I think that's the first time we had an encounter where everybody leveled up at the same time. All right, side caramel. Good. We're going to need that. Specifically, Paul is going to need that. Oh, fuck. And now we're basically just going to immediately use up. <sighs> That's half the freaking thing right there, man. Yeah, I just use the bottle rocket on the new span. Just be done with it. Just free up the inventory space because a bottle rocket's not that big a deal, but the big bottle rocket's pretty good. And of course, the multi-bottle rocket later is a godsend. But we're going to need 18 side points for Paula if we want to be able to deal with that mole without having to retreat and come back. Let's see if we can do it. Right, so we can go up or this one. Well, all right, well, we have a teddy bear anyway. Nope. Gone. Nope. Ah, go away. I don't want to fight you. I don't have the side points for it. <sighs> Fine. Guess we're not going to be able to avoid it. He really wants us to fight this battle. So fine. If we're going to have to spend the XP or the side points, I'd rather at least get my XP's money wor money's worth here. Two big bottle rockets. Yeah, nothing else really going on there. Fire beta. Do a decent amount of damage to the ant and the new span. Yeah, that teddy bear isn't even going to last to the, uh, to the mole, I don't think. <laughs> Let's find out. There it is. Yep, teddy bear's already dead. <laughs> yeah, that's why it was an option to get the teddy bear, but I'm like, I don't remember the teddy bear being a very rewarding option just because they, they die so quickly to the things that are around here. Here's the last mole. Damn it. I got cute. to do it quickly and if the other things are still there maybe we can get an ambush on him that'll kill the ant oh really god that sucks fuck and now i'm down below what i needed paula to be at i didn't add the side points correctly shit well we could do it with only a moderate freeze we can do it with only a moderate freeze. We, we, we've still got this. It's just not going to be as easy. We'll actually have to fight it. These assholes still here. Nah, I was hoping for the surprise attack at least. Alright, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. 
And if it stings me and poisons me, it stings me and poisons me. But I gotta keep it for the mole. Yeah, sure, smile at me. Waste your turn. That works for me. That's okay. <laughs> All right, hey, gigantic ant. If you want to just do nothing but sit there while I pounce on you, this works. Yep, this is why I hate this part. Okay. So that works. All right. Okay, good. But there's the mole. <sighs> You've got a moderate amount of damage. You're at full. Yeah, about... That's 60. Perfect. Let's do it. You've struck, fought the strongest master of the soul, the second strongest master of the soul, the fourth strongest master of the soul, and the weakest master of this hole. I'm truly the third strongest master of this hole. They're all the fucking same. They're all literally the fucking same! <laughs> now you will see the true advantage of being third. <laughs> I do love that shit. 8F, your poison, so shall it be- Oh my god! Oh, Ghosty, why do you do that to me? Oh. <laughs> you hurt me more than the moles have! <laughs> Welcome back, dude. What'd you end up doing for food? <laughs> Uh, what we'll do is we'll... No, actually, we're going to do shield. One of us. Yeah, let's do Paula here. Um... Yeah, we'll do freeze. And we'll at least get one freeze in. And we'll shoot and we'll whittle down that shield. <laughs> Shit. Okay. So now I will life up Paula next time. All right, so this is a real fight this time. Yep, and now Paula's body is protected by the power shield. So he's going to life up Paula with Beta. I can still freeze Alpha you, and that's what we'll do. And then Paula's out. Who knows, maybe I kill it here. Definitely bird maxed out. There we go. Mission accomplished. Point of defense. Okay. Let's take a look here. Good. Jeff has that. He also has a point of slumber also. So there's really no point to do that. I need to sell the coin of slumber and I need to sell the silver bracelet. I don't think we all have silver bracelets. Yep, we all have silver bracelets. Okay. Now there won't be any more enemies in here to fuck with us. We're good now. I think. Pretty sure this uh, mine is now clear of enemies. We shouldn't have anything else to worry about now. I'd rather keep the exit mouse and not just use it. And I had a soda earlier, but boy, am I craving another one. Unfortunately, I'm like out of soda. I'm just kind of like out of luck until I hit up Publix. When I, when I picked up a Publix sub, I intended to get... Oh, there we go. I intended to get a um, box of cans. I just forgot. And now I'm really regretting forgetting that. Fuzzy Pickles! But cool, we ended up doing that without having to backtrack out of the mine a lot. But yeah, if you're running, if you're playing this and you run into trouble with that, it's okay. Use an exit mouse and just go back in there. You got rid of the monster? Well, monsters, but yes. Good job. Okay, from here on, let's let me dig. You'll see. I'll find the buried gold. Before I start digging, I'm going to set a careful plan of action. <laughs> let's stay the night. We'll recuperate. And then we'll head back to Foreside. Let's 
Now we've got a decent amount of money. Again. Back to four side. Assuming nobody gets sunstroke on the way out. You know, is there are there any resins in the desert that we missed? I think we got them all. I think we got them all. We got the contact lens. We got the one package, one present that was in the upper right along the coast. So yeah, we should have gotten everything in the present or everything in the desert. I mean, the only way to be sure is to go back there. I'm not doing that right now. <laughs> Ness, greetings. I'm George, uh, Geraldo Montague's brother. Gerardo is his, uh, is in his mind, but he hasn't found any buried treasure yet. We did, however, find a diamond instead. <laughs> Gerardo told me to give it to Ness. Here it is. Please take it. Jeff got the diamond. Well, I've got to go. I'm busy working at the other mine. Busy, busy, busy. So just like that, we can now get the Runaway 5 free. That is what we shall need to do. So we'll head up to the to pull a theater. After more fucking walking. Jesus, is this Lord of the Rings? There's so much fucking walking. Fortunately, we won't have to do that much more longer. Oh, geez. Yep, there's a really angry Karen. Let's do it. Fuck it. Let's just deal with her. Extra cranky lady. <laughs> We'll do freeze beta. Because it might kill her outright. It's a lot of damage. Well, at the very least, because it's solidified. Yep, and she turned back to normal. So yay, she's a Stacy now. Up the Pola Theater. Should just be right up the street, right? Yep. Right? Yeah, oh. I checked the map and instead of just walking 10 extra more steps. That's a problem. Okay. Um, sure. Fries only give you like 24 hit points. Oh shit, I didn't want to do that. Exit. Otherwise, we have to watch the show twice. I guess wouldn't be the end of the world, but I'd really rather not watch. Right, we have to be out of the way. Hey! That, that, that diamond, you're gonna pay with that diamond? Uh, okay, it's, it's fine, I'll rip up this contract. Shh. Don't tell anyone about the diamond. Now the Runaway 5 are free. You should thank me. That diamond is worth maybe, maybe $50. <laughs> I love how she just rips off a bunch of kids, right? So I gave you a bargain. I mean, that's money. God only knows how valuable that diamond is, right? Sorry about being such troublemakers. We won't be so gullible anymore. Well, our fans are waiting, baby. The Runaway Five are lucky they're cool as shit. <laughs> Let's just do this one last show and then get out of here. All right, thanks again. Oh, you guys. Money, that's what I want. Money, that's what is hot. Money, that's what I want. Money, it's what we ain't got. It's a freedom. Freedom, freedom's what we really sought. Okay, I'm not doing that whole big thing. He's singing and they finally have to pull him over. <laughs> and there's, now we're on the final Runaway 5 performance at the Tapola Theater. <laughs> it's gonna be a great show! Think that those kids by the exit will wet their pants. Those kids are hip, baby. 
<laughs> and then after this, I'll run downstairs and grab myself a water refill. <laughs> There's Venus. It's amazing what they were able to pull off with just like, you know, 16 bit sprites. Just like that, the Runaway Five are free. I forget if you could see her solo act before this. No, you can't see her solo act before that, but now if we go back into the Tupola Theater, it's Venus's solo act now. Oh, hi. Yeah, they, they sort of transition it. So now, if we talk to this dude, heard the department store finally reopened. Yep. Hope they have a bofo sale. Onwards to the department store. That's what we need to do now. Uh, actually, let's get some... Let's withdraw some money. We're gonna need money. I'd rather not have the machine itself take a dollar, although at this stage of the game, having it withdraw a dollar really isn't that big a deal. But you know what? It's the principle of the thing. I can just walk an extra couple of steps and withdraw money for free. It's cool. <laughs> Hit it 20 times. Perfect. Now we got some cash. Now we got some serious green. Now we upgrade. Oh, there's another car. You know what? Let's just get the ship. Oh, she left. I inadvertently scrolled her off the screen. So we'll buy some stuff at the department store. And we'll begin the next leg of the four-side journey. Uh, no, I don't need to buy tickets here. To return something? Uh, yes. Please stop by again. <laughs> I feel like the lights will get turned off in the department store. I guess it's just a mouse is six cents. Well, that mouse is right. Well, there's an ATM right here. Oh, well. See, we're going to buy a bunch of stuff, but we're not going to buy it for Paula because Paula's going to be gone so soon. Uh, everything's so expensive. Should I return to my hometown? <laughs> All right, so we don't need food. We don't need a burger. A bunch of boxes. Oh, I want to talk to them. What do you want? Yeah, let's sell. Let's see, let's pawn off the silver bracelet. Yep, give me money. Point of slumber. Yep, take money for that. Let's see, what do you got? To, what do you got to sell, buddy? Ooh, hyper beam, huh? We'll take the hyper beam. Cool. Uh, I guess we can't sell the other thing he has. Let's try anyway, though. You buy the laser gun? Yeah. Nope, that's it. That's the only problem. Anything you fix and get, you can't sell. I got stuck here so long as a kid. Oh, I can imagine. Yeah, this part, especially when you're not ready for it. Oh my god. Whoa, 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 man, I'm so busy. Don't bother me, kid. Yeah, we're gonna want tools. I think there's somebody to talk to over here. Maybe not. What is over here? Let's explore all these areas. Nothing in here right now. Yeah, the department store is a very... I mean... The, without getting into spoiler territory, this is about to get real interesting. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's no point in buying anything. 
that. Um, sure. Fuck. Can't. All right, so I'm going to have to sell the silver brace at first. I wish you would see that it's going to replace an item and just let you do it rather than have to, you know, and Paula had my, so did mine, so did mine. And boy, that is not a mistake I ever was prepared to make again. <laughs> Cause yeah, so did mine. And I'm like, oh my God. And without getting too much into the weeds here, uh, cause you know, you know why, but um, yeah. Being without that Frank, having Paula have the Franklin badge for the part that's coming up sucks so much. There were so many times where I'm like, oh my God, and Paula's got it. <laughs> it was terrible. No, so, remedies. So yeah, you're stuck in an area where you really can't recuperate very well. Go to Summers or somewhere else to relax. Yeah, because Summers is expensive. Let's see. Wow. Oh, yeah, I've got nothing but better stuff. Yeah, that's right. Boys, maybe you have something better. Yeah, that sucks. Point of defense. Yeah, I don't see any reason to spend any money on Paula at the moment. I'm not buying the trick yo-yo. He misses too much with it. Oh, right. Oof. That stupid laser gun taking up space is just brutal. Oh. Um, what am I doing? What am I doing, Seraph? <sighs> I'd like to do that. What am I buying again? Point of defense, right. Point of defense is what I've got. So we're gonna sell the coin of slumber. Okay, that's a little misleading. Our defense did not double. We just improved it. Uh, uh, very good deep fry. I'll see you back in a little while. Uh, I don't think so. Nope, we are done. That's it for the toys. When I grow up, I want to work for Ape as a programmer. Do you have any connections with those guys? Oh, you didn't have to answer. Just told me to ask that question. Yep, and then we're gonna have to work our way back up here. All right, well, for better or worse, here we go. Yeah, let's... Not what I wanted. Time deposit. Now I'm actually, because I am not losing that amount of money again. <laughs> that was painful. So this part could get a little tricky. And by a little tricky, I mean, oh boy. Sneeze hmm. coming in a second. All right. <laughs> Here we go, mouse. Your attention, please. With a customer from Onet, Mr. Ness, please proceed to the office on the fourth floor. That was customer Ness, fourth floor office. Quark. So a problem here? You cannot leave. Oh, you can leave. You can leave. Oh my goodness. I did not think we could leave. Wow. Uh, why did I not think we could leave? Huh. All right, well, since we could leave, this part's not going to be so bad. All right. I don't think I ever took the Franklin badge off Ness. So you could dodge them if you can get into the right area here. But uh, yeah, so this part gets interesting. 
Yeah, at this point, I just keep the Franklin badge on Ness. But once Paula comes back, I might give it back to her because she's the squishiest. And so her being able to reflect lightning makes her a little more survivable. But I guess I'll have to decide that once she comes back. But yeah, Ness having the Franklin badge on him is always a good, a good choice. Franklin badge. Oh, except it hit Jeff. We got two of us. And there are a bunch of monsters in here that do thunder damage. Which stinks. There we go. Got a surprise at least. Probably should have lifed up Jeff, but oh well. We'll beat the shit out of Mystical Record. Ah, oh, except for Ness missing. On Franklin Badge. The Franklin Badge didn't deflect it? Did I not give the Franklin Badge? Shit, Paula must have still had the Franklin Badge. Uh, I s could swear I transferred the Franklin Badge to Ness. God damn it, Seraph. Fuck. Fuck! Yeah, we're dead. I thought I had the Franklin Badge. I really thought I had the Franklin. Well, here's the good part. I think it goes back to where we were last here. Yeah, oh yeah. Awesome. 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 And Paula's still gone. And yeah, we still don't have our Franklin badge. Because I didn't give it to anybody else. <sighs> I did save it right before going in there, didn't I? Oh god, I didn't save it, did I? Fuck. Fuck, Seraph. Okay. Yeah, no, this was a goddamn disaster. Fuck! Yeah, I record it. Damn, man. I can't believe I didn't grab the Franklin badge. I was just talking about how I... I could have sworn I, I moved that. Oh, no. That's going to make the department store so much harder to not reflect any of that lightning. Ugh. God damn it. And because it warped there, it tells me I probably would have to re-kill some of the moles. I just don't want to deal with that. We'll be okay. It's just this is now harder than it needs to be. I could have sworn I gave the Franklin badge to Ness. Sworn I did. Obviously didn't, though. Good grief. Whatever. Not the end of the world. I'm like, taking damage from that. Right. Keep thinking that's the bottom, bottom button. Right, I still... I'm still gonna probably need to sleep in the hotel just to recover my... You know what, I could have just done it there because Jeff doesn't even have side points. More of what I woulda, coulda, shoulda's here. Oh, I went up the wrong street, didn't I? Nope, we're going up the right place. Okay. <sighs> Stupid Seraph. God damn, I'm stupid as hell. All right, well, so just like what I talked about, like, hey, you know, the first time I did this, all I had my Franklin badge. Now we get to do it like I did the first time. <sighs> How much is it gonna cost? 150? So 150 is not bad. Hey, Deep Fry. So after talking all that, uh, you know, how I intentionally never let uh, Paula keep the Franklin badge, 
I forgot to actually take it off of her. I thought I totally did. I planned to, but I didn't. So yeah, none of our, neither Ness nor Jeff has the Franklin badge. And yeah. Exclusive to our hotel only. Yeah, little does he know all the hotels do this. Front page of Foresight Post. Over 80% of Foresight citizens support Monotoli. We're probably going to read a decent number of these headlines because we're going to keep dying in the fucking department store. Seraph's a moron who didn't transfer the Franklin badge like I thought I did. Well, Nessa at least gained a level. Really not the end of the world, but boy, boy. Not having the Franklin badge for this or Moonside is going to stink. Ah, uh, ah, yes. Pick up your new controller, Ghosty. Have a good one, man. I'll see you later. <laughs> Yeah, once, once I get my new controller working for everything, things will be good. I think I've now changed it correctly. I just have to now configure it to actually work with this. I might just go downstairs and, um... That's dirty. Fucking enemy hiding behind the tree. <sighs> yep, let's do this. Just build some scalding hot espresso, and of course it hits everybody. And these enemies are tough. They're tougher, and there's only two of you. So you're at an action economy disadvantage now, fighting tougher enemies. Well, we'll take the cup of coffee at least. And we gained a good level. Take the hip boy. Yeah, good, we need those. Yeah, it's gonna be difficult now, because I'm dumb. It it happens. It is gonna be difficult. It's gonna be a lot more difficult. True. And I thought I could go around them and ambush them. Did not work that way. Um, yeah, let's go with this. Yeah, it's gonna do damage to both of us again. So at least we did, at least they, oh my god. Oh my god, stop it. Kill this thing, please. Okay, good. We killed it before Ness actually died. <laughs> Thank goodness for that rolling hit point thing. Yeah, we'll take that. Not that it really matters, but... Life up Ness back to full? Jeez, I didn't even get you back to full. Christ. Alright. Let's try and do this. Oh, we got the ambush, at least. Yeah, let's engage the Musica. That can now hit us with that thunder. Ugh. Miss, 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 miss. Damn it. Only ended up doing 10 points of damage because it died immediately thereafter. Now, mind you, this is a good point for me to vent. Rant and rave ever so slightly. I think there are actually exit mice in one of the closets in here. Nope. Ness, customer Ness, please hurry to Paula. Gwarg. Hate that it does all that damage to both of you. Sucks. Oh, that sucks so much. Except for that. I don't remember if anything shows up in these closets now. These cups of coffee are virtually useless. Nope, nope, nope not worth it. <laughs> We are not going back into that closet. Oh yeah, we're gonna get ambushed here for sure. Can't do much about that. Fuck. Let's do this. Try and kill the Musica. 
Sucks when it just does nothing to things. Please miss, please miss, please miss. Thank you. Oh, damn it. Meanwhile, Thunder as a Sai. Um, yeah, there, that's it for Jeff. Fuck. Yeah, well, at least both of them killed Jeff here. I bet you Paula had the secret herb too. Jesus. Pretty sure Paula had the secret herb because I forgot. I just and I knew it was coming. I don't know why I didn't take the items off of Paula's. I don't know what I was thinking. I just oh my god! I have a secret herb for just this occasion, and now I can't use it because Paula has it. Damn it! 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 That is the biggest weakness of this game is the um, is the inventory and the lack lack of space thereof and the fact that you can't sell the laser gun. I have to give it to Tracy. Fuck, am I fucked here? Am I fucked? I'm fucked, aren't I? I'm gonna have to use the exit mouse and do this again to bring Jeff with me. Unless I just try to deal with this only me. Maybe that's what I do. Maybe that's what I do. Let's try this. Oh, that sucks so much. That sucks so, so very much. Yep. All right, that's... Revive, Jeff. Yeah, you're gonna need that XP for Moonside, probably. I'm probably just gonna use the fucking exit mouse and re revive Jeff. Yeah. Oh, it's brutal. Oh, right. I can't use the exit mouse. All right. Let's just advance then. Because now to escape is probably a tall order. I'm probably better off just trying to trying to do it. Warg, warg. You finally made it. This department store is going to be your grave. You'll be gone and you'll be burning in. Well, you'll go to heaven. <laughs> I may not be able to kill him with just me, but because normally I would use the bottle rockets here for this part, but that sucks, man. I don't remember what I could really do for this, but yeah, we're just going to try and whack away at him. Okay, well, that's a nice opening salvo. <sighs> I'm going to be doing life up a lot, basically. Right, he magnets me. Hopefully it doesn't. Oh my god. Life up now. I mean, we may not even be able to do it either. But we're gonna try. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna let the HP counter go up a little bit, just in case he does mortal damage to me. Freeze just does so much damage, man. Oh, don't do that. You're undoing so much of my work. <laughs> God damn it. But now I'm gonna have to life up. For sure. Damn it, stop lifing up yourself, man. You have such a higher hit point pool than I do. Yeah, not having Jeff with me is so brutal for this. Stop doing that. Come on, man. He netted 30 in that. Right, well, now we're back in the black here for the last couple of turns. There we go. That's what I needed. All right, we defeated him. <sighs> My God. Well, Ness just gained a shit ton of XP because the way this game works is it you get a total XP, and then it's divided by how many party members you have. So Ness just gained all of it. <laughs> I, I... 
Even though you could beat me, Master Gigas will avenge me. At this moment, Paula should be Monotoli. Guard. <sighs> yeah, now we got to revive Jeff. And uh, yeah, like uh, Deep Fry pointed out, we're now... Jeff is, is going to be a little underleveled for the bullshit that awaits us in Moonside. <laughs> I thought the exit mouse would work in the department store, but it does not, apparently. And I don't think I would have made it out with just me. We'll talk to them. <laughs> Somehow I felt like the lights would get turned off in the department store. So now we gotta go, we'll revive Jeff. We'll heal. We'll go sleep at the hotel. And then save. <laughs> and then we'll go back to the Monotoli building because we're going to get a clue there that will ultimately lead us to what Deep Fry and I are talking about as far as Moonside goes. Oh, right. Fuck. We need money. There's no ATM in here, is there? They're going to make me run all the way to the hotel for the fucking ATM. God damn it. They're going to make me run to the hotel for the ATM, go back here, Grab, oh, you know, you know what? I'll just stay in the hotel for me, not spend the amount of money, and then just come back and get Jeff. That, you know what? That works. I'm not gonna, there's no sense in running back. Oh, fuck. You know what? Fuck you, taxi. We're gonna kill the taxi. <laughs> Why this? Oh, come on. It works on the mad taxi. Don't do that shit to me. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> Don't fucking do that to me, game. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna totally go Street Fighter 2 on this taxi here. Although I could have just done that, but whatever. <laughs> it didn't even hit me anyway. Right, how much am I gonna need? Yeah, if I just withdraw 300, that'll be plenty. Yeah, you know what? I'll just withdraw 500. We have plenty of money here. Plenty of money. Spend the night. And now it only costs us 75 because it's just me instead of Jeff. Now we'll get Jeff out from the hospital. Good morning. This is a unique service, exclusive to her hotel only. Over 90% of citizens support Monotoli, up from 80%. Jesus. Mysterious department store blackout caused by mouse. <laughs> I love the headlines, man. They're great. Yeah, we'll just save real quick. It's fine. Oh, and Ness is going to gain and Wow, I almost double leveled. Wow, that's crazy. I almost fucking double leveled there. My God. That would have been awesome. <laughs> hey, cat. Hello, Cleo. What you doing, kitty kitty? Hello. Oh, sorry. I'm now multitasking because I've got a cat and obviously that's distracting. <laughs> Fortunately, it's an RPG that's turn based and I, it's OK to be a little distracted. Hello, sweetheart. I, I can't pet you over there. You want to come back over here? Kitty kitty, you want to come back over here? Hello. I love you, too. You need to bite my hand? Hmm. Yeah, I know. I love you too, cat. Yo, I love you too, fluffy butt. Maximum chunk. What you doing, kitty kitty? All right. Now we're recovered here. Hello, cat. Hello. Hello, sweet pea. I know. I love you too, cat. Now, back in the Monotoli building we go. Last night there was a solitaire tournament. I lost my shirt. I'll invite you next time. Hey, wait, do you even know what solitaire is? So now, now we need to find a clue in here. I think we need to find the clue in here. I mean, I know where we need to go. So we need to talk to his maid thing. I mean, I know where to go, but I don't think we can go there. I think we need something to prompt us. 
Private elevator. And we don't want to talk to Pokey, but we do want to talk to the maid. Yeah, he just kicks us out. All right, maybe it's not here. Hmm. You know what? Let's go where I think we need to go. <laughs> and of course, she says that no matter how you talk to her. You know, I thought she was in here. That's all right. All right, let's go where we need to go. here again. Surprised you talked to an ordinary guy like me. I have no information or items to help you out. Don't you think it's natural for a guy like me to be here? I enjoy the atmosphere. There are five apples. If you eat one, how many left? Uh, or, uh that's not funny. All right, here's another one. Master Pokey's made Electra is made to order. Oh, puns aren't funny either. I used to be Monotoli's employer. I didn't realize the schemes made my company go bankrupt. My house and land were taken away. Now I'm homeless. Monotoli didn't used to be so powerful. I want to find out his secrets, so I'm spending my time here, watching to see if he ever drops in. It's a loud noise outside. Must be the seventh inning stretch, and the fans are singing Take Me Out to the Ball Game at the stadium. Okay, good. We are in the right place. Eh, eh, eh. Doesn't look like a nice man. I don't want to go like that. I'm glad it was me, and of course there's, uh, Everdred from Berglund Park. Oh, hello, cat. Hello. Hello, cat. What? You weren't getting enough of a pet over by my... by down there? Hmm? You need something sweet? What time is it? Oh, I know what it is. You want dinner. Yeah, you hungry even though I don't feed you until five? Your stomach's rumbling. Are you getting a little rumbly tumblies, cat? <laughs> yeah, is that why you're being a brat? Huh? Okay, everybody, give me one second. This is actually a good point for me to take a very brief break. Let me go feed kitty cat here. Because Cleo needs the good stuff. Yeah, you ready for your wet food, cat? Okay. Yeah, she's starting to bite my hand, which tells me she's a little hungry. Um, but I needed water anyway. So give me one second. I shall return. Okay, cat. Okay. I know you want wet food. Okay. Well, you have to let me get up. You have to let me get up. Okay. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, gang, sorry about that. Kitty needed food. Give this out a try. I don't like seeing a corpse around here. He's breathing. Has he just been playing too hard? Uh, I think you're... Don't cut in front of me. If you give me something, I'll let you have my spot. Will you give me something? What do I get? <sighs> Definitely don't want to give you that. Picnic lunch? Shit. I think I'm going to have to give you... Well, fine. We'll give you the double burger instead of the picnic lunch. Hey, Everdread. Ugh. Aren't you Ness? I can't see too well. Everything's blurry. You are Ness, aren't you? <laughs> it's me, Everdread from Berglund Park. You must remember, I'm the best thief around. Yeah, you're, you're pretty distinctive there, Everdread. <laughs> that car painter in Happy Happy Village was hiding something. Strange. I stole it and thought about selling it in the big city. An old city wise man called it Mani Mani. It's a strange colored doll looking thing. Oh, I'm in pain and... Monotoli tricked me and stole it for me. He tricked a thief. He wanted me out of the way because I know his secret. He gets his evil power from that statue. Listen, I'll tell you only once. At the cafe, check behind the counter. <gasps> I said I'll tell you only once, but if you insist, I'll tell you what's more. Do you want to hear it again? No. <laughs> Before I go, here's my last haiku poem. When on your way out, be sure that you say goodbye, then lock the door tight. This is my final request. Don't follow me. I must be on my way. Whoa. So long. <laughs> this fucking guy, man. <laughs> and then comes back to scare these two. Is that man going to... to... He stared right at me. Ooh, scary. <laughs> Don't you feel better since you had the chance to talk with your friend? I helped you find him. Dude, I had to bribe you to let you passed. That's not you doing something good, man. <laughs> but whatever. All right, here we go. Oh boy, this shit. <laughs> okay. No, that's right. I'm the host here. fight this thing. You confront the Robo-Pump. I don't remember what it's weak to. Well, let's just do this. All right, we only have a certain amount of time. We just have to get it down before it counts down to nothing. Should be able to make it. Yep. Perfect. Good, 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 good. We rehearse news? <laughs> there we go. Now Ness went up. Flash beta. You know, I underuse Flash. Flash could be really powerful in this game. Yes, that's wrong. I am the hostess here. What? Foreside? Are you still sleeping? This is Moonside. <laughs> so Moonside is the opposite of Foreside, where also everything's the opposite. So yes is no and no is yes. Melon fish doom lore. <laughs> yep. It makes perfect sense in Moonside. So at least they tell you these things here in this cafe. And Moonside is riddled with enemies. God damn it. So if I really wanted to, I could just try to escape, but we're a high enough level and we do enough damage, we should kill it before it gets down to zero. Good. See, where's that? I don't get, like, any of those references, but... <laughs> Welcome to Moonside. Welcome to Soonmide. Manuel Otsunmide. Yeah, those dolly clocks are fucked up. Do you understand all this? Yes. Good. I'm glad you get it. <laughs> of course, there's no map here. All right. Hello and goodbye. All these guys will teleport you. Let me just teleport over here. And now there's an invisible barrier here that we can't get to. I think I need to talk to this guy. And now the teleport game begins. 
we rehearsed news. Where are we, Ness? Oh, I didn't even see it there. Shit. Fuck. All right. Oh, they're anagrams. Gotcha. <laughs> I'll tell you what I hate in this world. That's pasta. The color, the smell, the taste, the texture. Hey, you, you're drooling. <laughs> All right, so ultimately, we need to get down here. The Manu Manu statue is up ahead, but I'm going to stop you right here. Don't even think about getting past me, because you aren't with a guy whose eyebrows are connected and who also has a gold tooth. So that's what we need to find. How about I sharpen you? I just love sharpening. You don't want me to sharpen? Oh, you know, I never put together that, that they speak in a lot of anagrams here. Hey, parking meters, and you're walking around. Haha, <laughs> that's so funny. Welcome to Moonside. And I never noticed that they talk in anagrams a lot here. Yeah. Not gonna avoid that one. Ugh, this thing's annoying. We got this though. Mostly because it can hit both of you, and that sucks. Hello from Moonside. Melonfish Doomlore. <laughs> Hello from Moonside. Oh, neat. Huh. Yeah, yep. Love this area. I will send you first and then you second to the hospital. All right, so he sends me to the hospital. Fucking that painting is going to get me. So. Right, right. I got to get used to that again. Yeah, I got to get used to that. Everything is backwards. Everything is backwards. Ah, epic seahorse net. There's no escape. All right, so if somebody dies, I need to go back there. Okay, the hotel is probably what I need. Can I get to that? Uh, get my double burger back. Oh, shit. I can't escape the dolly clock. Fuck! Cool Easter egg if you use the pencil eraser on the statue. Oh! Are you talking about the Manny Manny statue? I don't think I've ever attempted to use that, and I st but I don't think... Uh, no, I still have the pencil eraser, so yeah, I could still use it. Yeah, I'll give it a whirl. Cool. I think we can hypnotize the dolly clock, but almost there's, like, no point. So yeah, we'll just do this. Yeah, I love how it just freezes you. And then it just pounds on you for a little while. <laughs> Use it before you talk to it. Oh, neat. Okay. I will do that. We're not talking to this guy. We need to go into the hotel. Although I think I might have to get... Good, let's at least save. I think I need to spend the night here. Good, we can buy stuff. Don't need any of that. This is the Dark Moon Hotel. One sleep period is 150. Uh yes, we do. Perfect. <laughs> Now we might have, although I think we need to talk to somebody who teleports us into the hotel room. Good more, uh, not morning. Here in Moonside, it's always the middle of the night. Here's a headline from tonight's Moonside Press. Money, money is always money, money, and money, money with all money, money, money. <laughs> so, 
Everyone is someone, don't you think so? Yes. Mwahaha. <laughs> hee hee. All right, let's talk to this dude and get teleported. And goodbye. We need to start getting teleported around. Take the night pendant. Yes, we will take the night pendant. Jesus. Spy with my little eye, Alakazam. See a country in summer and a big silver ball. You're burnt, but you're fine. This is what I see. I don't remember what the handbag strap does. When used as a whip during battle, the enemy takes enough damage to stop moving for a short time. Gone after one use. Interesting. Oh, but now I'm full again. Shit. Well, it is what it is. Next time I talk to a, go to a whatever, I can just sell the great charm. Yep, and there's Monatoli with the statue. <laughs> yes, you have to talk to Duke Nukem to teleport around. It's awesome, isn't it? <laughs> she also teleports me, I think. Be sure the soup gets cold. We must care for Mani Mani. Before the knife gets rusty, we must care for Mani Mani. Oh. I think we can get around here. There. Yep, that's an invisible wall. Hello, and goodbye. Shall I? No. Oh, fuck. Oh, whatever. This is where we wanted to go. I'm really busy doing nothing, so I don't have time to talk to you. If you need something, talk to my partner. He's right over there. See? You mean you don't see him? He's right here. Can you see me? Ah, <laughs> yes, I can. You can, huh? You've become a real Moonsonian, haven't you? kind of door you're not gonna find one so get out of my face loser i have no patience with people interrupt me while i'm dizzy doing nothing there we go now we've got him behind us it's me you can see me right there's something interesting about you so i'm gonna follow you don't worry though <laughs> begin to a fight i'll stay out of it all right now we go back down to that guy you can't see me right yeah now i can't see you but save would have been nice to get that treasure, but I don't even know if I need it. Don't you wish you had a gold tooth like mine? Give me a smile. <laughs> Alright. Let's try that gold thing. Again. Don't you think my eyebrows rock? Check them out. They're connected. Hmm. <laughs> I do love that you could see Monotoli briefly on the shifts sometimes. Pretty cool. Right, so now let's no, no, let me out. Okay, well now we're just gonna get rid of something because that secret herb is fucking awesome. Um Wanted to do that. Wanted to drop it. Drop the picnic lunch. So yeah, we definitely want the secret herb. Hell yeah, we do. We absolutely want that thing. Uh, can we get around that thing? Yeah, I don't think we can get around this side. Let's see? You do it no matter what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was definitely worth it to do the teleport loop just to get the secret herb. Now if Jeff gets knocked unconscious, or vice versa, I can recover. That's a big deal, man. That is a big, big... Can we go in here, actually? No, we can't go in here. <laughs> I didn't think about that, but we should try and see if we can get in there. Manny Manny statues up ahead, but I'm going to stop you right here. How's that? You really surprised me. You're the man whose eyebrows are connected and who has a gold tooth. How about we dump these kids and go get something to drink? All right, so. Ness used the pencil eraser, but nothing happened. Maybe I have to talk to Monatoli first and get him to go away.
Hello, it's your dad. You've been out there for a long time. I literally just saved the game, dude. <laughs> Try this. Do you really think this looks like a pencil? <laughs> That's awesome. That is a cooler Easter egg. All right. Well, for better or worse, I guess we're ready for this shit. Um, we're full. Here we go. Don't don't do anything to me. I'm I'm not Monotoli. <laughs> it's a golden statue that you have seen before. Here we go. The fucking mini mini statue. I fucking hate this thing. Yeah, we'll do the handbag strap to that fucking thing for sure. Big bottle rocket. Hell yeah. There we go. Ah. Shit. Well, I don't think any of these things really work very well. Probably better off just bashing it and using Nest to life up. But Jeff, do that again. Big bottle rocket, buddy. Hell yeah. Fuck this thing up. Good. Just waste it. Because the mini mini statue can absolutely fuck you up. <laughs> Big time. Uh, good. So yeah, that was a good place to use the bottle rockets. Yeah. And we made that look easy because we used those items, but trust me, those were items well spent. So, the Mani Mani statue was actually a device that created illusions. The illusion device was destroyed. Hey, Mouse. You were wandering around the warehouse with that vacant, faraway look in your eyes. Were you daydreaming? <laughs> This is applicant. I've come up with another wacky invention that I think has real potential. Maybe you won't, but anyway, it's called the Gourmet Yogurt Machine. It makes many different flavors of yogurt. The only problem is right now, it can only make trout-flavored yogurt. So I'm having the machine delivered to you via Escargo Express. It's coming in neglected class. <laughs> so I have joke around. Ever since, whenever I get, like, either a package or it gets, dis it dis just, just disappears, I always ask myself, like, did they deliver this neglected class? Which is always a reference to this game and this. So why Apple Kid delivers it neglected class? I have no idea. Hopefully you'll get it soon. Yeah, everything is... Uh, I got some problems here, you're gonna go fight. <laughs> All right, I got it. sure. Not that it matters because this fucking guy can't be bothered. I'm not a delivery man. I can't remember if we met. Telerama just finished fasting and now wants to meet you at the west end of Dusty Dunes Desert in a cave with lots of monkeys. I'll use my teleportation to buy. Yeah. Because he's dirt poor. <laughs> well, yeah, Apple Kid is dirt poor. That's true. Uh, oops. Uh, greetings. It's Oscarica Express's neglected class. Ooh. I just got here from the Dusty Dune Desert. It was this sunbathing guy, and he told me about a cave with lots of monkeys. What is it, orangutans? Anyway, he said, well, uh, I forgot. Yeah, I forgot, I forgot the stuff I was supposed to deliver, too. I think it was some weird machine to make trout-flavored yogurt. Yeah, I forgot it at the desert. I'm not going back that way, so don't ask me to get the package. I mean, it's your package, right? So you go get it. Go on, get out of here. Maybe that thing I forgot is important to you, so have a good time in the desert. <laughs> Hello, I heard you talking about trout-flavored yogurt. <laughs> Of course, if Orange Kid actually built anything, he'd probably send it neglected class as well, since he's a cheap ass. Yeah, Orange Kid sucks. I'm a maid who serves Mr. Monitoli, and I'm looking for trout-flavored yogurt to give to our special guest. If you know anything about it, please tell me. I've been searching and searching. So this is... If there is a part of the game that I find very annoying, it's this part. It's this part. Because now we're going back to the desert, and now we have to go through the Tali Rama cave. We have to go to the fucking Talirama cave. Oh, Karen, you... You're getting the shit kicked out of you, lady. Think you're gonna beat the shit out of me with that bag of yours? Uh-uh. Oh, right. It would help if I did the right button. Oh my god. 
I love how she just yells at you and your guts goes down. <laughs> and if you invest in Orange Kid, he will make you stuff, but it's all useless. If I remember correctly, I did do it in one playthrough where I actually gave Orange Kid... Ah, uh, yes, the quest for weird-ass items. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not really the biggest fan of this part. This is, um, tedium. Not, not really thrilled about this at all. Because we're going to need a bunch of different items and we're, we're going to hit item limits. So yeah, let's talk to Escargo Express. Because yeah, we're going to need to pick up some stuff. Anything that we don't think we need, because I need inventory space. Big time. Yep, I can cover the bill. All right. Uh, no, I should just sell the great charm. I should sell the great charm. Definitely get rid of the laser gun, for sure. I don't think I need the bad key machine anymore. I think that's it. But you know what, before I get too far ahead of myself, let's sell a stupid great charm. Go to the department store and sell that. And hopefully we opened up enough room in our inventories for some of this shit. And of course, there's the, um... There's still the air, um... the sanctuary location that we need to go to. Um... We don't sell... Damn, I might need to get some more water again, too. Man, I'm parched. I already downed that entire thing of water. So. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get some water real quick. Sorry, guys. I need to refill again. Can't believe I polished off this a uh, cup of water so quickly. I'll be right back. Well, this ended up being good, like, pause music. <laughs> so that works. Uh, let's do this. On 
down we go. Oh, this is where she waits. Okay. Convenient. Bakery. Right. I mean, at some point, we need to do the sanctuary location, which is out this way. I think we get access to that. Yep, there's there's our sanctuary location. Behind this wall, things seem very strange. I feel like this isn't my place. Maybe it's your place. <gasps> yes, it is. I'm just trying to remember how I get into that. I think we get into it from the Natural History Museum. Dinosaur Museum, rather. But I'd rather wait till we have Paula. There are replicas. I'm sure everybody knows that. You still want to go in and see the dinosaurs? Yes. Pretty sure. I wonder how many animals go extinct before human beings discover them. I want to see a live dinosaur sometime in my life. No, you don't. No, you don't. Museum. Oh. Of course. Although, to be fair, at least it's been a while since we've had our picture taken. Fuzzy Pizzle! <laughs> Fuzzy Pickles! Please bring back the fondest of memories. I'm so happy there are some visitors today. These days, few people come here. I'm Mr. Spoon, the academic researcher. I wonder if there are any other famous stars here today. Right. Dinosaurs? Huge, aren't they? Well, that's all I've gotten out of my research. You want to hear more? I'll tell you the truth. Blah, 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 blah. I heard the dinosaurs were found near the lower side of Scaraba, and there were lots of them. There are unconfirmed reports that the dinosaurs ate some of the natives there. If you go, please try to find the dinosaurs and bring back photographs. Please come back again to study, because I don't like being alone. All right, so once we get Venus's autograph, we can give him Venus's autograph, and he lets us in that room. And that's how we get into... Uh, the sanctuary location. But I would really like to get Paula first. I really don't want to do that with just Jeff. Really don't want to do that with just Jeff. Uh, so yeah, as much as I would love to drag my feet about this, let's do... Let's do this the stupid fetch quest. And we have to do more walking to the goddamn desert! <laughs> the number of times we have to go back and forth to this desert. Oh my god. Although at this point I probably could have just taken the bus. But I don't remember exactly where the monkey pit is. You know what the monkey pit probably is? You know what we could have just taken the bus? Because the monkey pit's closer to the other side where the actual station drop off is. I think. Oh, more walking. Even the fucking trees in that movie walked. <laughs> Granted, I can't do even remotely the type of impression that Freakbot can with that, but yeah. <laughs> oh my god. All this walking. Oh yeah, I forgot about that minigame. You can, you can actually gamble with those guys. Is there anything we had up look Anyway, no, oh, look at that. Treasure chest. Oh, well, I'll take a thousand dollars. I like money. We should hang out. <laughs> as long as we stay in the road, we don't have to worry about sunstroke. Okay, so here's the bus station. We don't need to go back in there. So yeah, there's always weird that there's this bowl here. It's very fast. It's hard to avoid. And there's actually a weird programmatic reason why it's in here, because... um. The bus usually takes you over here, and when you're on the bus, there is a certain variable in the game that turns on that essentially disables, um, like it disables random encounters or something like that. But anyway, um, or something along those lines. And so this thing being here to always trigger that, um, essentially turns them back on. And so this thing will always be here, no matter how many times we're going to go down or in or whatever. 
Um, I'm probably not explaining it all that well because I don't really know the ins and outs of how the engine works and the flag. But that's why sometimes in this game you'll see little things like that. Um, because by going into a battle, it turns the flag off from the bus. Welcome. Our paradise exists beneath that hole. Talarama is great and kind, and he knows everything Talarama does. He met us to underground rooms. And now we go back in here. Oh, fucking mushroom. No. And of course, there are all sorts of random encounters you can encounter. Oh, oh good. At least they're running away from me. Good. You guys stay away from me, because I really don't feel like dealing with you. <laughs> Okay, so every time you encounter one of these things, when you talk to them, they want an item in exchange for moving over. And these get weird. Do you have a skip sandwich? I'll move away if you give me one. Can you give me one? I think I actually do have a skip sandwich, don't I? I do not have a skip sandwich. Fuck. Okay, I won't move. Yep. All right. I want to eat a picnic lunch. Damn it. You're going to give me, make me fine. I have one of those, as it turns out. Wait, where's my pick? Wait, did I use it? Shit, I must have used the picnic lunch. I had one. Fuck, I used it. God damn it, I used it. Alright, so I need a picnic lunch. I need a picnic lunch and a skip sandwich. And I have neither. Okay. So, this ship begins. Skip sandwich, picnic lunch. I think a couple of these we can buy here in the drugstore. Yeah, for the longest time I'm like, why is this mole there? I just auto win anyway, it's just so out of place. Skip sandwich and a... good. And you sell a picnic lunch. Good. This is fine. Perfect. And depending on how you go about it... Oh, right. I know what the flag is. You don't get sunstroke until you encounter this thing. Uh, and I think the point of that is the game developer wanted you to be able to talk to people in the desert before getting inundated with a bunch of bullshit. And so they have that mole there, and once you encounter the mole, it turns the flag that that flag back on, which enables a bunch of shit. Very sim you know, like sunstroke. So you actually can't when you take the bus and encounter the um the traffic jam, you can't actually get sunstroke until you encounter that mole or go into any kind of battle. Yep. That. Now you can move. I'll give you that. Perfect. All right, guys. Now this ship begins. <laughs> yep. That and that's why that mole is there. Now we begin to get all the other shit. All right. So this is a wet towel. So one of these monkeys is gonna want a wet towel. Nope. I don't have one. If you have a pizza, you could give me one. <laughs> Whoops, I spoke to you in the human's language. <laughs> if you have a pizza, please give me one. All right. <laughs> Jeez. Sneezing a lot today. Uh, I really don't want to deal with this mushroom. Good. Mushroom's running away from me. Good, good. Pizza inside. Let's takes it. All right, so we got a pizza for the other room. You know, yep. But sure, let's. Yep. Here, have a wet towel. Want to eat a tasty pizza? All right, so we got two monkeys that want pizza. So that's a problem. So we may need to order pizza for mock pizza just to give to that stupid monkey but I mean we're gonna find a pizza in here somewhere oh now we have two 
two monkeys that want pizza. Uh, so we got... Oh, no. You need a protein drink. Wait, what do I have? Oh, I do have a pizza. I got a pizza somewhere. I totally forgot. Um... Uh... And you want a protein drink. Right, let's give you the pizza. Pizza time. Right, so let's go through here. And of course, there's an order of things. If you do it in the right order, you'll get a pizza. But okay, so we got the protein drink for that one. Let's continue. Let's see what we need to keep an eye open for. I am Man Key Man. To me, the most interesting thing is the King Banana. What? Are you giving me a present? No. Tightwad. <laughs> let's get to the point. Give me a hamburger. <laughs> you, I could give this. I'm very grateful to you. Bag of Dragonite. All right, so the Bag of Dragonite is awesome. Tab opens and I'm hearing Seraph talk about his banana. <laughs> Not just a banana, the King Banana. <laughs> you know, I don't think that that innuendo is what the game was going for. But then again, I might just be innocent and Main has never have heard of me. How are you doing, Darkstar? <laughs> now we have a protein drink. We can give you that. Oh, oh, oh. Move out of the way, monkey. All right. Let's see what you've got. How are you doing, Darkstar? All right. Hamburger inside. All right. So we got our hamburger to replace our double burger that we just lost. What strange chattering for a monkey. If I eat a fresh egg, I recover from some health. Okay. So this one's annoying because we have to get a fresh egg, but we have to give it to the fucking monkey before the fucking thing hatches. And if we take too long, it's going to hatch into a chicken and we're not gonna have a fresh egg to give to this fucking monkey. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I wanna measure something, uh, but I don't have a ruler. Okay. So, all right, so I can go back. All right, so I need a fresh egg. I need a fresh egg and a ruler. We could get a ruler from those. I think I'm out of options here, aren't I? I've got another bag of, dry, bag of Dragonite, yeah. I think I might be out of options here. I might have to get... Uh, I feel this is a therapy... <laughs> Seriously. All right, so we, we're looking for a banana. Uh, we're looking for a banana. Uh, another pizza. So I may have given a pizza to the wrong monkey. We're looking for items we don't have. So I need to get a ruler. I need a fresh egg, a ruler, a young priest, and an old priest. <laughs> and because it's so repetitive, I, I tend to lose track of what monkeys I, I've not given things to. And yeah, you're looking for a pizza. Uh, all right. So yeah. All right. Well, let's head out. We'll go to Scargo Express. We'll get a ruler back. We'll order a pizza from Mock Pizza. I think we're out of other options. Yeah, I gave the pizza to the wrong one. That's that's what happened there. If you give the pizza to the right one, you won't have to exit. Although I think the bag of Dragonite is optional. The bag of Dragonite is just nice to have. I think you do sell. No, you don't. You don't sell. You don't sell a fresh egg. <sighs> Fuck. Yeah, you don't sell a fresh egg. Nope. Right. <laughs> I love that shit. All right. This is where Notepad Plus is our favorite <laughs> using streaming. Yeah. Seriously, dude. Uh, all right. So, yeah, let's just... Let's just take the bus back to Foreside so we don't have to do all that walking. Uh, but yeah, that's why you don't see uh, random encounters when you're on the bus. Normally the flag just turns off uh, when you exit the bus. But again, I think the, the makers of the game 
um, wanted you to not have to rush out of that um, traffic jam. They wanted you to be able to talk to everybody and not worry about getting sunstroke and everything else. Bum, 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 bum. I do love this music. Or old school, you know, Seraph when he was, you know, 14 or whatever I was playing this game the first time. Just a sheet of paper writing down all the stupid shit I needed. Oh, we had oh right because we kept picked up a thousand dollars in the desert. Yep. I need a ruler. Nope. All I need. I totally forgot I needed a ruler. You can't deliver a fucking pizza right now? Are you kidding me? Oh, because I've got Escargo Express coming. Once Escargo Express arrives, then mock pizza will show up. I've never tried to do both. Does uh, when you play the Zero Escape games, make sure you have a physical notepad and a digital one handy, regardless of streaming or not. The trilogy's in-game note functionality doesn't do all the PS4 touchpad. Oh my god, I can imagine. Oh my god, yeah, that would be amazing. That would be terrible. All right, now Mock Pizza should be able to deliver my ruler, or my pizza. Pizza man, give me pizza! I don't think it matters. Just needs to be a pizza, right? Give me a fucking pizza. <laughs> they were made for the DS, 3DS, and designed for style. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. See, so yeah, once you get to a console that doesn't have a stylus, oh my god, your life sucks. Come on, mock pizza guy. Come on, mock pizza guy. I don't want to get on the bus until the mock pizza gets here. Yeah, I do need to get to playing those. Of course, I also need to start watching Aliens, too. Come on, mock pizza guy. Where the fuck are you? I wonder if there's any other place I could order that. Actually, I wonder if the department store may have um, a fresh egg. If I could make it there in time. I don't know if the mock pizza guy will deliver here, but I am curious to see if I could buy a fresh egg here. don't think so. Yeah, just a boiled egg. And unfortunately, well, fuck it, let's try it. I think it needs to be the king banana, but hey, that fucking monkey wants a banana. Now I've got one. I could always try giving him a banana. See if it's good enough. Any day the game wants to deliver this fucking pizza. I did actually order it, right? I hit the right button. I didn't, like, cancel it, right? They did say that pizza's on its way.
not a fan of this particular side quest. Finding all these stupid items in this fucking hole. Kill the annoying reveler. And the problem is if I keep going, I don't think the mock, the mock pizza, like, they'll just call you and be like, I can't deliver there. Thank. Let's just go and hope that Mock Pizza eventually delivers my pizza. Rest in a hotel and then go, oh yeah, I could have done that. It's the only annoying thing about Mock Pizza. Now granted, it's an interesting thing that they kind of predicted places only delivering instead of being able to like sell in-house pizza hut not mentioning any names uh <laughs> but it is an annoying mechanic especially when you need an item like this for this that you can't just yeah let me off here that you can't just go to a, a store and just buy the item you need like a fresh egg we're gonna need to find that and the problem is when we find the fresh egg oh boy we need to Because yeah, if we don't get the, the the egg in time and it hatches, then we're gonna have to come out and we're gonna need to find that egg. We're gonna find have to find a new one. I didn't see it. You little bastard. <laughs> Well, we have a couple of items, so we'll be all right. Fuck it. We have a ruler, at least. God damn it. You motherfuckers. It finally procced while I, after I gave up. <laughs> Bastard. What do you want? I ate a fresh egg. All right, so you're the you're the fresh egg. All right, so we got to go here if we find a fresh egg. At least you have a ruler. See what's going on behind door number whatever this is. Come on, get out of the way. I'll exit. I'm back. <laughs> and then the monkey will be in a normal position. That's clear of the door. Okay, one of my friends can use the teleport. What? You've never heard of it? Then I'll give you a king banana. That didn't make sense, did it? But anyway, I'm attractive, don't you think? All right, so at least we got the king banana. We're almost at the end of this shit if they're, we're hitting dead ends. I remember when that happened to me. It must have hit my fucking BS button at least three times. Yeah, because you can't find it in time and then the, the egg hatches into a chicken. It's like, really? Really? The egg incubated? Um, so yeah, that, that turns into a big problem. Okay, so you're in this one? Right, okay. So, back up one. Your King Banana Boy. Yep. What? Are you giving me a present? Yeah, I'm finally giving you this fucking thing. So I remember uh, going back and forth, and I just I just didn't find it in time. And then I had to find a fresh, a fresh egg somewhere. So now we're getting compensated for things we had to use earlier. There we go. There's the other 
pencil eraser. I knew there was another one that we needed to use somewhere. So yeah, the game will punish you. Go. You knew that was in here somewhere. I love Tommy Rama the most. Here's a song I made up. Okay, so here's this guy. Lunch. Couple life noodles. We will take that. I've been waiting for you. Alright, so we don't need the banana anymore. We'll just eat that. Sure, we'll eat a hamburger. We don't need two of them. The truth of space and time moves through the universe like a wave. Truth speaks through space and matter and makes itself known to human beings. I was waiting for you, and you came. This was destined to happen. In truth, all is predetermined. Ness, Paula, Jeff, and Pooh. Of course, this is the first time you're hearing the other one's name. When these four powers gather, Twisted Space will bring back peace to the world. Do you understand? It doesn't matter. Proceed as you wish. Open the treasure box and take what is inside with you. Did you come in search of this? Someone left it behind in this hole. There we go. Now we got the yogurt dispenser. The adventure that lies ahead won't be easy. I'll give you a special skill to help you move through space as you wish. Learn the skill from the monkey over there. Would you like to learn this special power? Perfect. And now we'll learn Psy Teleport. Yeah, we still never found the fresh egg. I wonder what is behind that that is so valuable. We got all the treasure chests. Once we're out one more. Hmm. Ah, shit. Here we go again. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, if we go down this one, we can find it. But yeah, I don't know where the fresh egg is. And then here's Mr. I want a fresh egg. Hmm. There must be a good item behind there though, because we were able to complete it. So I just have to figure out where a fresh egg where a fresh egg is and then run back here. In Earthbound, fresh eggs can be obtained for limited time and mass for free from the Happy Happy Village food stand. So doing so results in being confronted by the unassuming local guy. The stand closes after defeating Carpainter. Ah. There's another place to get them, though. Because, I mean, I've done it. But you do have to go a decent distance. It's probably in Foreside. One of the monkeys give you a fresh egg? Yeah, I thought so. I'm not seeing it, though. Yeah, we went through. I feel like we talked to all the monkeys. Yeah, uh, that. You know what, let's just go one more time, just to be thorough. Oh, right, we need to give her a pizza. That's what, that's what we need to do. All right, so once we get a pizza, then we can come back here. The fresh eggs behind the pizza, that's what happened. That's what happened. Yeah, there are a bunch of locations, but the problem is you need to be able to, um... I think you kind of need to go through it through this puzzle. Um... Follow me, like this way. We're gonna do this shit. Yeah, yeah. We got this. Okay, I'll do a teacher's demonstration. You can learn this. You can go anywhere you've been previously. You can go there instantly. This skill can't be used in a room or underground, though. So this part's very useful. Um, just because... Um, actually, I think I've had it drop from a Mad Duck before. I think we did have one. Jeff had one earlier. Went to Foresight and returned. I showed you the basic straight course, but you can also build up enough speed while turning if you have enough room. Yep, that's very valuable. And just like that, boom! And now we have side teleport. Teacher's going home now. <laughs> 
So yeah, now we don't have to run around like a crazy person all, all over the place anymore. And you do need a decent like runway almost. But as you go, you can control how way how you go. So if you're really, really quick, you can do it in a relatively confined space. Uh, all right, so now we can get rid of some of these items. Well, first things first, let's get rid of the yogurt dispenser. Actually, where's the store? Well, I think this is the way we want to go. Maybe not. Maybe she is up by the... Yeah, she's down here. Let's get rid of the yogurt dispenser. So we can advance the plot. And then just for the sake of being a completionist, we'll order another... There we go. Ba -ba -ba -ba. So when you try to use it, it gives you a different thing about a trumpet? Interesting. Yeah, I guess we just needed to talk to her. We don't use it. But that's interesting. But now we can actually go up there. Now we can actually make our way up. Nope. Trust me. We won't forget to drop by. I just need a phone so we can call Mock Pizza. Get another pizza. Because then I did it in the wrong order. If I had done it in the right order, it would wouldn't have been a problem, but I used I used the pizza on the wrong monkey. That was that was the problem there. True, might as well use Psy Teleport at home for item management. That is very true. Not messing around. <clears throat> All right. Now we'll just wait. Sucks to have to wait three minutes for this pizza to get here, but it is what it is. Um, we've got room. And we've got some pretty good items now, so that's pretty awesome. Now I feel like we could stash the pencil eraser. Granted, there's one more space, one more place to use the pencil eraser, but the good news is we don't need it. It just is helpful if we happen to go through that area again to um it'll save us some trouble we won't have to go through the brick road dungeon we could just skip it but if we uh if we don't have the pencil eraser we'll just have to go through the brick road dungeon and I'm almost like eh. would I rather just have the inventory slot I think I probably would don't think we need the pencil because yeah there's nothing else that we need the pencil eraser for It's funny how the music will speed up at this part. So chat, while we're waiting for a pizza to arrive, how's everybody, uh, how's everybody's Sunday? <laughs> that pause in the song is evil, isn't it? <laughs> it makes you think it's, it makes you think you're in that as the mock pizza person shows up. Yep, it's Saturday. Oh, it's Saturday, not Sunday. I'm still getting used to streaming Saturday during the day. I'm so used to streaming Sunday night and ending the weekend. Uh, but I'm really digging, I'm really digging streaming during the day Saturday. Uh, it's, it's nice. I, I like it. I almost started streaming this morning, but Ghosty was streaming. I'm like, eh, I'll just park, park on the couch. It's actually good because my cat woke me up super early. Like super, super early, like 2 a.m. fucking early because my cat is evil. And uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, so, yeah, I mean, I went back to bed, but still, when you're up and down and up and down and up and down, it's like shit, man. Um, you don't really get as good of a rest as you really should. So anyway, why don't you ghosty and first fell asleep on the couch? Come on, Mock Pizza, you're killing me here. All right, well, while we're doing that, I'm going to get some water. I'll be right back. I'm just going to, I'm not going to pause the game. I'm just going to switch the scene and hopefully Mock Pizza will show up by the time my water gets here. 
<laughs> or by the time I get by water. There we go, good, that's a good sound. There we go, my pizza obviously got here, good. Good, good. Right. There we go, all right. Sorry, it's just as well, Cleo wanted some extra food. It was three minutes from the end of the figure was ping as soon as- <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Wow, that's an expensive pizza. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I have it, but that's bullshit. 200 bucks for a fucking pizza? <laughs> yeah, we, we knew that would happen, right? The second, the second I left is when, uh, <laughs> did it really do that the second I left? That's so funny. <laughs> that's fucking, that is really fucking funny. It's just as well, I needed a water refill. Needed to take a quick bio break, and Cat needed extra food and some pets. Like within 10 seconds! <laughs> oh my god. That's funny as shit. <laughs> now I just have to remember to get off the bus. Yes, please. All right, now let's go back into that stupid hole and see what else we've got. And hopefully this is worth it. 
because this is now optional. Like we got we got down there, we got the yogurt dispenser, we got side teleport. Really no other reason to go back. Uh, actually, let's save. Let's save in case I fuck up and don't deliver the egg in time. God, that would be terrible. At least this way, if I don't, then we just exit and we'll load. And we'll save scum it. Because to find another fresh egg is going to be terrible. Because then we're going to need to go somewhere, get the egg, teleport back, and still get down in that tunnel before the fucking thing hatches. No shit, I didn't want to do that. Damn it. Dumb shit. <laughs> hey, you know what? That being the case, since I did that, I did not, that was not, that was not on purpose, obviously. That was stupid. But, that being the case, let's, now that I've fixed the remote control, I think. Let's do that. All right, so now instead of it on, Okay, I switched this earlier. Okay. How do I do this? Why is it still on switch mode? Come on. There we go. Okay. Now it's on Windows mode. Sorry, getting used to this controller. Since I exited the freaking game anyway, we may as well see if we could do it. Uh, we're doing this anyway. There we go. Cool. All right, so now we're on A. I just got to get used to this. F, F. Okay, left shoulder. Select will be... Start will be back. Okay, cool. All right. Let's try this again. This time with the new controller. Since I exited the game. Since I told it I wanted to quit. <laughs> so I got your suggestion, Darkstar. Uh, the Ghoulie Kit uh, King Kong 2 Pro. Uh, this is actually the replacement because the first one I got, uh, the button stuck. Why are you not? So it's still not registering. Do I need to... Do I need to exit Minati? Probably need to exit Minati. Let's try this again. Okay, systems. Nintendo. Foot. Foot one. Do I need to save it? Maybe I need to save it. Ow. Let's not smack the microphone man. Okay, button two. Button X. It's mapping it. Wondering if I just needed to sell it to save. Left shoulder. Select. And we'll go with that. Hey, do I need to save anywhere? I don't think I need to save. I think once you do that, it's pretty much golden. Should be good. Try that again. Unless for whatever reason it really doesn't like it, but oh my god, cat! What cat? There we go. There we go. Okay, so now we're using the new controller. Thank you. Okay, that's that feels so much better. Oh my god. Okay. All right, now we do the pizza. Oh, ho, ho, we almost got totally ganked. She just said the controller is working. Uh, 
Yep, so now it's working now. All right, this is better. Man, this controller is so much better than the Logitech one that I was just dealing with, but hopefully it holds up this time. Figure this would be a good test. We'll find out during this game instead of uh, Wanderers. Uh, I've already forgotten where I'm going here. You guys ignore me. I think this is the way to, yep, that's good. That's the way to this, good. Okay, but you can control the sub with the Logitech one. I don't know what that, I don't know what that means. I don't know how, what you mean by control a sub with the Logitech one. Uh, the first time you use it with a switch, uh, go through the joystick calibration, switch system settings. So I don't actually have a switch. Um, so I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> uh, I only I only have a PC that, I, that I'll be using this with. That was what I think threw it off the first time because its initial default mode is a switch. And my emulator had no idea how to deal with that joystick input. So I had to change the mode to Windows uh, Z input or X input. So that, that kind of confused it, I'm pretty sure. Uh, we've gone this way. Already kind of forgotten what I'm doing here. Yeah, I mean, that's it. That's... Okay. I so hate this. <laughs> but now we can go through here. Oh, no, shit nothing else to do here. It's good. Oh god, really? So as a kid, I remember having to write this down. <laughs> Wait. I'm not making sense, am I? Oh, yeah, you already gave me the item you needed. Okay, you need you need the fresh egg, right? And you are down this way, so somewhere down here, I think is the pizza looking one. I think it was down this way. Nope. Damn. Now I'm now this is all repetitive. And I'm losing my mind of where I've been. It all, of course, it all looks the same. Now we're back here again. Shit. Shit. <laughs> I'm gonna end up rewatching this VOD and being like, oh my god, Seraph, no, you're supposed to go that way. That way! <laughs> Of course, if I wrote it down, it would be easier. Oh god, I've already forgotten where I'm at. I think we need to go down this way then? Yeah, you are a weird monkey. <laughs> Where the hell is our pizza? Am I losing my fucking mind? <clears throat> Shit, did it clear it? I hate this shit, man. <laughs> I hate this shit. You know what? And if if we can't figure it... Oh, right. This is the button now. <clears throat> if I can't find who I give the pizza to, I'm just going to go to the Monotoli building at this point. This, this gets... This gets stupid. <laughs> like this does. This gets... This is stupid. But at the same time, man, we were just there where I had to, at least in my mind, it was fresh enough. Where I knew, oh my god, we just went back here. Shit. I feel like I'm going different ways to get to the same place, though. But I must be, I must be just getting confused in my head. Alright. <clears throat> 
We're near the end, though. That's not good. Yeah. All right. So this whole area is done. So we need we need to not come back here. Of course, it's not like a dungeon where you can put something. All right. We've gone everywhere through the left of this. So let's just go everywhere through the right. Just make sure. Then we don't have to come back down here again. You're the one I need to give that to. We've already gotten you, and you're a spare end. Oh, yeah, and yeah, right. We've already gotten the item from you. I have not played Mother 3, actually. Um, I would love to, but... Um, yeah, I already got the thing from you. Okay, so we're, we're good here. That's what I thought. Um, I've heard good things, but yeah, I mean, we never really got uh, an official Mother 3 release here, so didn't really have too many options. Oh, God, it's going to make me... Okay, thank God it didn't let... Yeah, I'm definitely, I'm planning on it. Um, Freakbot actually might end up playing that game. Um, so if he plays it, I'll probably just watch his stream of it. But yeah, I definitely look forward to it. Okay, we've done everything to this right. So shit. Let's go out. Oh my God. All right, so we've done everything to the right. We need to go to the left from the main room. <coughs> see see if we can figure out what I'm doing wrong here ah okay there we go there we go yeah that's where we fucked up we didn't give her the pizza and that's what we needed to do yep because that's where we get an immediate pizza and we could have just done that yeah it was that was the mistake there that was the mistake. We gave it to the wrong monkey and gave ourselves a lot more trouble than we deserved. Should be able to obtain Dragonite. Do you think Dragonite is really made from dragons? By the way, I'll give you a fresh egg. Okay. So now we need to head back out and quick. Uh oh, okay, good. All right, we could just come back <clears throat> if it hatches, good. And it's probably going to hatch probably going to hatch. All right, so now we go back down this way. Fuck. Oh, come on. We're not going to do it. Oh, I went down the wrong way. We're not going to get this fucking thing. No, oh, I hate that. I hate the fact that... Oh, God damn it. I hate these mushrooms so much. <laughs> Since you're gonna, uh, you might as well use the tweezers and alternate, uh, and alternate buttons to come with it. So I actually kind of like the button configuration, um, but I, I could do that. Please, t oh, Jesus Christ, Jeff. Maybe I'll just use the secret herb and heal Jeff. No, I don't need, I don't care about a sprig of parsley. <laughs> so, but yeah, I could do that. Yeah, I don't need a hamburger. And we don't need a ruler. Those are fine. We'll leave those. Yeah, we're going to fuck up and not... I'm going to need that fresh egg. That fresh egg is going to turn into a chicken. But whatever. Let's just do this. We'll get rid of it. And uh, go away, guys. Thank you. Oh, fuck. I took the fucking ruler. Let's get rid of the ruler. I don't need a fucking ruler. <laughs> just get rid of the fucking ruler. And in a second, we'll hear chirping from when that thing, stupid thing, uh, hatches. Which is distracting because the sound effects of the game. Yeah, luckily it's unlimited. I forgot that it was unlimited. I was like, oh my god. Okay, that was fucking worth it. Hell yeah, the flame pendant is worth it. So, um... The night pendant must be equipped, absorbs the light of a flash attack. Um, whereas the flame pendant... Uh, protects you from fire attacks. Fire attacks are much more common than uh, than flash. Let's 
I got used to using the buttons down in the different order. Plus, this is a good opportunity for me to actually get used to it on a game like turn-based. It's really, the stakes aren't as high. Uh, yeah. Definitely keeping that brain food lunch. But... Yeah, the Great Charm is a much better option than that. All right, what do I got in here? Secret herb. You know what? Fuck it. Well, let's keep the secret herb in case I need it. Whatever. Just use the pizza on Jeff. <laughs> we got everything we need out of here. that we're definitely going to need. Hmm. Yeah, that's a problem. I definitely want the bag of Dragonite, the flame pendant, the secret herb. I don't want to get rid of any of this shit. I'm going to have to get rid of that picnic lunch. Now, now we could give the flame pendant to Jeff. It's perfect. Okay. Now let's see if we can get this uh, other one delivered before it hatches. Assuming I can remember where to go. This maze is so annoying. Thankfully. God damn it! <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Fuck. Which way do we go? I think we go this way. Man, you need to make like a beeline to it. So next week will be winters, summers, and maybe the two dungeons. Yeah, I think so. That's probably about right. I mean, I plan to play for a little while longer here, but but yeah, that's that's probably about right. <sighs> I may have to write this down. Jesus Christ! And and it looks the same. There's no way to fucking tell. Oh my God! I'm so lost already. It's so easy to, um, I mean, that's the biggest problem. It's just, it's so easy to get disoriented and be like, wait, where was I again? Um, <sighs> okay, you're the one that wants the fucking ate a fresh egg. All right, so you're, and it turned into a chick before we got here, which sucks. All right, so from the very beginning, we go... Because what I could do is just exit, and we'll make a beeline to this, rather than try to remember. All right, so... Right. Right. Okay, so just go to the center, and then just go right the whole way, we'll find him. All right. Okay, so that's probably easier rather than trying to figure out how to get to it. We'll just go, we'll just go all the way out and then we'll just go right. And that would probably be fast enough for us to find this fucker. 
now we gotta track him down again. Once we do, we should be okay. Here's another fresh egg. Ah, good, okay. Okay. Exit. Hopefully we do this fast enough. I don't know if it counts in battle times. So that might be what also really hurts our progress. Yeah, I'm not going down any of these. We're just gonna exit. Oh, I think we're at this, we're at the entrance. Yep, okay. So now we just go right. Hopefully we get to the point where we get this turned in before it shows, before it hatches. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. We did that pretty quick now. We basically made a beeline to him. Yes. Oh, thank God. All right, you little bastard. This better have been fucking worth it. <laughs> this better have been fucking worth it. Neutralizer, huh? Actually, I don't remember what that is. Items for Jeff. When used during battle, this item resets the abilities of all creatures to the normal levels. Any changes that to take it due to Psy and such is neutralized. Okay, that actually neutralizes all shields that were in effect. That's pretty... Okay, that is actually pretty useful. So we need to give both of these to Jeff. And yeah. Alright, so we need to sell the Great Charm and then we'll give Jeff both those abilities. Alright, back to Foresight we go. Yep, we've gotten everything out of here. We got the we got the uh, buff be gone. That's right, and debuff be gone too. But yeah, buff be gone. Fuck that shit. That's gonna be really useful, especially for, you know, that would have been really useful for the moles that had those uh, power shields. All right, so that was that was actually worth it. I was thinking we were gonna do that, and be like that was not. I was already getting ready to be like that was not fucking worth it. I'm like actually, all right, it was a pain in the ass, but it actually was worth it. It actually was worth it. Imagine that. Yeah, let's just take the bus to Foresight. I'm not using Psy. Yep, perfect. And then we'll heal Jeff's mushroom. Rough. Perfect. Okay, and now we don't have to go into that annoying item fucking quest ever again. <laughs> Oh my god. That was so lame. Hey, Ziltoid, how do you feel about that whole maze? Oh, so lame. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, that never gets old for me. And for anybody that doesn't get the reference, that's from an album called Ziltoid the Omniscient. It's about an alien that comes to Earth, asks for the ultimate cup of coffee, and uh, then when he gets it, proclaims it's fetid and then invades the Earth. It's hilarious if you're into hard rock and all that <laughs> hospital we go we're gonna get Jeff healed from this little mushroom thing actually I think we're in pretty good shape actually we are in pretty good shape yeah we've used a little sigh but nothing crazy all right we're okay we're okay who's this lady Heard some bad deals. I heard he made a deal with a pure evil entity in exchange for power. You know, stuff like that. <laughs> you know, stuff like that. <laughs> I love how even the townsfolk have heard of it. That's fucking great. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. There's some illness. Yep. you. Uh, no, we don't need anything else. We're good. I hate the mushroom spores. I found this play, uh, next place easy, but I've I've seen a lot of people struggle. Yeah, to me, I think the, the harder parts, the, the department store tends to be really challenging. Um, we're going to save, but we're also going to sell this item that Jeff has now. We're going to sell the Great Charm just to sell it.
go up here. We'll sell this. And then we'll get the um, Shining Spot. The Shining Spot here is really easy to miss. I've had a number of playthroughs where I've come and um, almost get to the end of the game and I'm like, I'm missing a Shining Spot. And I'm like, oh, right, four sides. Because it is very easy to miss. Thank you. Nope, I actually don't want anything. Now we're going to get Paula back. But we do have a little bit of work to do. Shouldn't be too bad, but nonetheless, we got some work cut out for us. Missing a little side, but nothing crazy. I'm gonna save the game. Well, we got some pretty decent money. Of course, we're gonna lose all of it once we get to summers and start buying shit. Because <laughs> that place is expensive. I almost did it again. Oh my god. <laughs> I just need the inventory space. <laughs> hey man, her psi abilities are nothing to sneeze at. Plus, Paula's cool. We do like Paula. God, I love this game. To be able to go through it again is is just a pure joy. So we theoretically could get the shining spot. <laughs> do we though? <laughs> oh man, you guys are harsh. <laughs> do we really? You guys are making me wonder now. <laughs> Uh, why don't you stare somewhere else besides my ass, right? <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. All right, these guys are still dicks. They'll escort you out if you try to talk to Pokey. Shh, quiet. Aren't you Ness? Mr. Monitoli's maid, Electra, told me about you. I'll take you to Mr. Monitoli's office on the 48th floor. Only you may go. This part's fun. I don't think there's anything else to do. Secret code, please. Say your code in 10 seconds. And obviously, we don't know the code. <laughs> the Sentry Brobot. Locked our way. I don't remember if it has any vulnerabilities. We'll spy on it anyway. Got good offense and defense. Yeah, it doesn't have any vulnerabilities. Yeah, it could fire bottle rockets, which sucks. Oh, fuck. Called for help just in time. Ugh, so lame. All right. Heal Jeff. That's not so bad. It firing bottle rockets sucks, though. Yep, that sucks. Alright, kill it before all that damage registers. Good. Alright. I don't really remember the best way to go about this. Oh, nope, we can't. <laughs> Alright, well, that being the case, let's just... Start working our way over. Okay, I just need a way to go into that. <laughs> One way to avoid that robot. I don't think we can avoid that. Oh, well, okay. We'll go through here. Let's just go through that. I don't think there's any way I can avoid this one. 
All right. True, we could teleport to Winters and go shop because that shop is a good shop. That is a good point. That is a good point because that is a good shop, especially at this point of the game. I think I've done that before in the past. I've done that before. <laughs> Although teleporting out of there can be an adventure a little bit. Oh my God. Sorry, we'll kill this before the damage registers. Yeah, whatever. Come on. No, Ness, you can't miss. Ah. God damn it. I thought we could kill it before it... Oh, Ness keeps missing. That shouldn't have been that hard, man. That should not have been that hard. It fired so many bottle rockets. I should have lifed up instead. I thought we could kill it before it would... Uh... God damn it. Now I gotta leave and resurrect Jeff. God damn it. Oh, you bastard. Life up, me. Come on, come on, come on, no, 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 ah, come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bad, really bad, yeah. No, he's not homesick. He was not homesick. It was just, I don't think he was homesick. No, it was just bad luck. Terrible luck. And you had a lot of money on hand, did I? Oh, I, well, no, not really. I had 2,000 in the bank. I didn't have that much money. But, um, that's unfortunate. Yeah, it's fine. It's really not that big a deal. But yeah, that was re that was atrocious luck. That really shouldn't have been a problem to kill that before our HP ran out. That was not that bad of an idea. Obviously, it blew up on my face, but... Um, all right, so over 50% of Foresight now support anti manatoli campaign. Wow. Amazing what happens when you just destroy the Manny Manny statue. Yeah, at this point, I'll just go to Winters. I wasn't go going to, but... I mean, may as well since we died anyway. I was just gonna do it, but so it goes. That's lame. Kind of annoying, actually. <sighs> the sentry butts really aren't all that hard, but yeah, when you miss every time and it fires, you know, three bottle rockets in a row, that's gonna that's gonna do you in. <laughs> that's just that's just gonna do you in, man. Now the. In hind it, with the virtue of hindsight, the way to go was as soon as I got to go again, I should have lifed up Jeff. I absolutely should have um, lifed up Jeff. Yeah, that's why I'm going up here to the hospital. Yep, we got him. I'm back anytime. Yep, no problem. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Fine. Now this part's gonna get tricky because I'm gonna have to, uh, you know, my fiance. My fiance loves to chew gum. He went to visit Dr. Andonetz's lab, but he hasn't returned yet. I wanna go there so I can get him home, but without him, I can't cross lake tests. I'm really worried that a mad doctor will use him at a crash test. <laughs> yeah, right? At this point, yeah, let's just withdraw all my money. Yeah, sure. Right. Give that to Jeff. I mean, I could have used a secret herb to resurrect Jeff too, but didn't, I really didn't think that was going to be all that difficult. I really didn't. Did not expect that to be that difficult. Um, all right. Well, we'll see what happens here. I don't think there's anything... Well, Cone of Silence would be good for both. Sure, we'll buy the T-Rex bat. Please. Silence, sure. Yep. At least recoup some of my money. <sighs> now that 
stuff has room for it. <laughs> I don't think there's anything else for me to do. I could buy the non-stick fry pan for Paula. Because we will get her back in the party fairly soon. So I could just hold on to it for the mean in the meantime. But if I get an item that we're gonna need, yeah. I'll just hold off for now. Nope. Really didn't want to do that. I really, really, really did not want to come to Winters for that. But since we died anyway, it made sense. I mean, he kept dying because he doesn't have as much HP. Also, that's a little misleading because I sold the coin of slumber and then got the... His defense only went up by, by 10. There. Uh, it didn't go up nearly as much as, as it may have looked there. All right, so if I go here and then move there, I should have enough. Should have enough to get out of here. Okay. Should have enough room to get out here. Damn it. That's gonna be a problem. Why I didn't want to, it's kind of why I didn't want to come to Winters because yeah, I knew this would be a little bit of a problem. You spend it each time you try to go. Good, we got it there. Okay. <sighs> cool. Now I'll just save in the Monotoli building. Just fuck it, why not? Let's try this again. I mean, I'm sure I do, because that was an incredible, that was like a heinously unlucky series of uh, fucking attacks. <laughs> that was, that was, I, I can't believe it just did the bottle rocket three times in a row. Uh, that was pretty brutal. And then when I tried to heal, I just didn't get to go for, I could have healed between battles. That would have been the solution there. Just didn't think they would kill me, but they did. <laughs> so take two with this. And I think they respawn. I don't think they, uh... oh no, they don't respawn. Look at that. That's convenient. Okay, yeah, let's just circle there. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's just kill this thing. Of course, I don't have bottle rockets of my own anymore. It's not really weak to anything, so away we go. Christ. I mean, those things do 110 points of damage. So if they hit Jeff with two of them, it's game over for him. Ah, oh, fuck. Yes. Oh, no, not the bottle rocket. Shit. Thought it was gonna fire a beam. Good, no one came. There we go, we got him now. Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, it, looked, it did look like that, because I had to sell the coin first, because otherwise he had no room in his inventory. Because unfortunately, Jeff is completely loaded. So I couldn't buy that kind of coin of silence to replace the coin of slumber. I had to sell the coin of slumber first, then buy the coin of silence. So without that, without that equipped, entirely his defense is 66 with it equipped it's like 110 or 119 now or something if i go in there and unequip it you would uh, you would say, uh anyway uh yeah let's just let's not mess around here destroy that thing and now we can deal with this shit Remember which way I want to go. I think that's the way to Monotoli. Yeah, let's just destroy this thing. I think there is a cool item to be had up here, if I remember correctly. Oh my god, stop. Oh, that was cool. 
Yeah, no sell that shit. Fuck yeah! <laughs> That's how it's done, son! <laughs> there we go. Wow. Offense and guts went up by a lot. Wow, that was a big level for Ness. Holy shit. Okay, then. Now we've got a lot of different doors. Make sure not missing anything. Okay, we'll take... We'd like capsules. Your trout flavored yogurt, sir. Ness got the trout yogurt. Master Pokey's cool. He gave me something the other day and said, this is fit for a maid. Wow, really? Jesus. <sighs> Pokey is such an asshole. Yep, time for this thing. Ping, clankety, clankety. Rattle, rattle, dwar. Tweet, tweet, clank. This fucking thing. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's time to do a shield. Here's the rust promoter. <laughs> Lost a gear and some boats. Yeah, that was definitely the time to do the rust promoter. We'll do that, for Jeff. Yep, that was it for the rust promoter. But boy, that was that was worth it to do like nearly 300 damage to the fucker anything else. I don't think it's vulnerable to the pair of dirty socks. So yeah, let's just shoot it. Oh my god, right. Come on, come on, come on. Thank you. That was close. That was entirely too close. <laughs> Maybe the cat would love trout flavored <laughs> trout flavor flavored yogurt. You know, I bet you my cat would like trout flavored yogurt. Holy shit! Oh god damn it! Well, still better that than other things, I suppose. Yeah, clean the area. Sure, thank you. All right, now we're back to good hit points here, and we both have good shields now. For some reason, I want to say this thing is vulnerable to flash, but I don't think so. I don't think it's vulnerable to anything. We'll just keep bashing it. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me! It just undid all that damage I did to it. You little bastard. Granted, with this particular battle, I don't know if we just need to survive a certain number of rounds or if we actually do need to truly defeat it for something else to happen without giving away the game here. This fucking clumsy robot is very annoying. Mine, 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 mine. Thank you. Of course, I'm running out of uh, side points here. Fucking hate this clumsy robot. Bastard. There we go. I think it is just a case of you just need to last a certain number of turns. All of a sudden, some guys rushed into the room. It was the Runaway Five! Lucky quickly ducked behind the robot. I flipped the switch and it stopped. <laughs> Jeez, what a loser robot. It was so easy to stop. It was quick thinking. And we at least still get a bunch of XP for it. Cool. <laughs> you guys are awesome. We don't have any money. We are strong, however. Let's break into the room next door. Except I need to go to the bathroom first. 
We would like to pay you back. We'll help you whatever way we can. I thought that I heard a girl's voice. The room next door seems suspicious somehow. No, oh, it's suspicious, all right. Stop, that's enough. Please stop. I give up. I really do. <laughs> I love how he shakes. Look at my skinny arms, thin body, and gray hair. I've become so weak since I lost the Mani Mani statue. I'm sorry I kidnapped Paula. I haven't done anything to her. Paula's a nice girl. Paula, return to Ness. I'm sorry I've created so much trouble for you. Ness, you finally made it here. I'm fine. I believed you'd come to save me. Mr. Monotoli isn't really a bad person. Take some time to listen to him. As a kid, I thought if I got to the next part in time, I could skip to summers. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I'll tell you everything. The Mani Mani statue creates an illusion. It attracts evil spirits and weakens your heart. The power scared me so much, I hid the statue in the warehouse at Jackie's Cafe. I often went there to pray. Cryptic words appeared to me while I was in the illusion. Ness, your name appeared in the cryptic messages. Stop Ness, and do so by your own hand, or don't let them go to Summers, <laughs> or make sure they know nothing of the pyramid. I don't fully understand the messages, but someone obviously doesn't want you to go to Summers. Evil, Gigas, or something, I could hear the name. Anyway, the evil side would be in trouble if you visit Summers. Oh, on the contrary, you should definitely go to Summers, especially because they don't want you to make it there. Would you like to hear the whole story again? Fuck no. Summers is located across the ocean. Take my helicopter. I'll open the door to my heliport. Convenient that the bear blocks the door and keeps you from going out. <laughs> you must go on. Ness, this is your destiny. Paula, it's time we said goodbye. Take care. <laughs> Pokey. Ness, you pinheaded idiot. You're just a half step too slow. I'm getting out of here. Since Monotoli has become a plain old man again, I have no more use for him. This helicopter will really come in handy. Looks like you're the world class loser again. Fucking Pokey. Yeah, but unfortunately, nothing you do can. Pokey will always beat you to the helicopter. It sucks, man. Pokey took the helicopter. I hope- No, I don't hope he's okay. He's a dick! <laughs> Ooh, I was a little dizzy, but now I'm okay. To get to Summers, we need to go back to Threed. Somehow I know that's where we must go. <laughs> I do. I love this game. Wow, you guys did a lot while I was in the bathroom. You want to get to Threed as soon as possible? We can take you to Threed in our tour bus. I'll get the bus and wait for you just outside the building. Convenient. We get an express trip to, uh... We get a nice express paid trip to Threed. Let's do this. We've already gone through all this, so we know there's nothing else to explore. And like, uh... And now we have Paula's use again. Yeah, she had another secret herb. God damn it. I wish I had just transferred that secret herb out. Yep, there's the Franklin badge and another burger and a bomb and a super bomb. All sorts of really useful shit. Ay, ay, ay. Especially that magic truffle. Hello, how are you? This is Apple Kid. I think I'm a real genius. In fact, I know I'm a genius. Why? Well, I have discovered the primary enemy of you and all humanity. We have to fight and defeat this being. To do so, we need to invent a machine called the Phase Distorter. I've got to find the wandering scientist, Dr. Andonuts, and make the distorter. So I may be gone for a while. Later. 
Are you a friend of the Runaway Five? Would an autograph be asking for too much? No. I don't mean your autograph, silly. <laughs> I think she says that no matter which one you answer. But yeah, this controller is amazing. It's comfortable. It's uh, responsive. It was really a shame when the X button jammed on the other one. And the fact that it did it only on like either the first or second time I ever was playing with it. I was like, yeah, I'm just going to return this. And hopefully the buttons don't jam on this one. God, I hope the buttons don't jam on this one. Oh, that would suck so much. <laughs> hey, buddy. Okay, you can get on the bus now. Do this. Awesome music incoming. That's why it's so easy to miss the shining spot in here. Because it takes you to three automatically. But yeah, we're going to have to come back to four side and go to the um, go to the shining spot location. Yeah, playing too hard with the East games. <laughs> oh my God. So I found a review of that game and you this this other YouTuber. And, uh, God, we got to play that and just like react to it. Because there are so many times where he's just like dying over and over and over again. And I'm and he's just like, you could see his soul dying. And I'm like, I know, I know how that feels. <laughs> uh, but the good news is Oath of Fulgana, in my opinion, is by far the hardest of them. We're not going to have the kind of experience we're having with the other games like we're having with with Oath of Fulgana. Um, I mean, we'll, we'll find crazy bosses and all that, but Oath of Felgana is like Dark Souls kind of difficult. Um, so yeah, that one, that one does tend to turn people off because of the difficulty. And so I, we're, I'm not the only one. <laughs> and it's also why I decided not to edit it out. Anyway, I wanted to do the whole experience so everybody sees what it's like playing that game instead of just somebody who uh, practiced with it and then did a final run kind of going through it. And there's some people that are really good with that game. All right, we made it. Sorry we couldn't do more for you. Remember though, we're all on your side. When you're having a tough time, just think of our songs and imagine the Runaway Five singing somewhere far, far away. By the way, why did you need to come back here? You must have forgotten some very important item or gadget here. How's that for a guess? Am I close? Well, you don't have to tell me. See you later and good luck. And the funny part is I was it was, it was a button that I didn't actually use all that much. It's not like it was the jump button or the attack button. Like, I'd kind of understand if it were one of those buttons. But uh, but it was the use magic button in that game. That, that just, it was, it was like... So yeah, we're back to three again. Right up here. Yep. Not wasting any time here. Foresight is done. Hey guys, we painted over the damaged parts of the Skyrunner. Now I wonder how you start this thing up. I want you to stay, but if you can't, so long. Thanks for every little thing. Ah, here's the problem, and it's not too tough to fix. Hang on for a second or two. <laughs> there, that should do it. Now if we board, the Skyrunner will take us back to Winters. With Dr. Andonuts' help, I can modify the machine to fly to Summers. If Dad, I mean Dr. Andonuts, I mean, it should be the alert. If Dr. Andonuts, I mean Dad, right? <laughs> it's not available. I'll have to figure it out by myself. Anyway, let's go back to the lab and winners. That's it. Go, machine, go. I love this music. I do think it was cool that when you first get in the Skyrunner, you get like the nice preview of the areas you're about to go into, too. <laughs> Goodbye, desert. 
Oh, there was that present we left over there. Shit, I thought we got that. And eh, we could always go back for it. I don't think it was all that critical. But since it's there... The next time we end up in Foreside, we'll take a brief trip out to the desert and just go grab it really fast. And I'm pretty sure this is the halfway point for the game. I'm pretty sure. The desert and Earthbound is nothing on the desert and Mother 1. I bet. I've actually never played that game either. Thanks for taking care of my husband the other day. Oh yes, we finally tied the knot. <laughs> Honey, don't just stand there with your mouth open. Say hello. So, you passed by a cave north of Stonehenge. Don't you ever wonder what's inside? Can't seem to stop thinking about it. Go and see what's there. We're going to get out of here. We're still newlyweds, you know. Bye-bye. So yeah, we'll get this shining spot. Oh, you surprised me. You're Ness, aren't you? Jeff wets his bed sometimes, but other than that, he's a good boy. So, uh, when I was growing up, I used to name a lot of the other characters friends of mine. So this, this line is so hilarious when it's like your friend, like whatever, you know, I'm not going to say his name, but yeah, it's like, just imagine, you know, like, uh, yep. You know, uh, God, like Bob wets his bed sometimes, you know, it's like, oh my God. Take care of yourself and Jeff. The bubble monkey said there's a cave north of Stonehenge. I've known about it for a long time. The locals call the area Rainy Circle, but I haven't been there. I wonder what's inside the cave. I, uh, I understand. While you're checking out that place, I'll work on remodeling the Skyrunner. Oh, yes, my co-worker, Bigfoot, dislikes violence. He's such a nice guy, and he loves people. He often shares his beef jerky with me. So if we go here, the instant revitalizing device will basically completely revitalize us. So there's that. Now let's call Dad, and we'll save the game. And let's go get our next... Paul is going to gain a lot of XP in a minute. Now, I theoretically could do Psy Teleport and go up there. The problem is if I Psy Teleport to go to the shop, we have to work our way back down. So that part sucks. So we're kind of stuck with Paula being a little underpowered. But I was, again, with the inventory limitations that you deal with, it's like, well, shit, what do you do? You finally got here. This is the fourth, your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. And now we got the shroom to deal with. I fucking hate this thing. I do. I absolutely hate this thing. I don't want to waste that. I'd rather just do that. Let's see what it's weak to. I don't remember what this thing is weak to. It's got a great... Yeah, it's vulnerable to fire. Oh, motherfucker. No, no, no. Please kill it. Thank God. Okay. Fine. Yes. <laughs> I don't need Ness feeling strange for this fucking battle. God damn. Um, yeah, we'll use the paradigm socks. Uh, what? You gotta be kidding me. Fuck. Oh, I'm so fucked. I'm so fucked that Ness is confused. Oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, I mean, sure, we're, I think we're pretty well screwed here. Because it's gonna, he's gonna be confused, and he's gonna do it to us, and we're gonna die. I think, but we'll try anyway. That works. Yeah, poisoned isn't actually so bad. Uh, right. 
might be able to get that get away with that. Shit, shit, shit. I wasted a secret herb. I thought the secret herb would cure feeling strange with, with those, but I guess nothing really works on that. He's not buffed. Man, this blues. Yep, not a big deal there, but at least let's fire it up. Good, okay. Let's just try to bash it and hope he doesn't hit us. <laughs> but at least that Dragonite did a shit ton of damage to it. Whoops, fuck. Mine, 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 mine. Yes, thank God it still worked. Whew. Boy, did we get lucky there. I hate confusion effects, man. They're the worst. Okay, we got it. I mean, we had to spend the Dragonite to do it, but oh well. Wow, that's a lot of XP. Paula crushes. Did Paula level up twice? Yes, she did. <laughs> yes, she did. And Jeff gained a level too. Cool. All right. I hate being confused, man. It's the worst. But this should purify us and life will be good after this. I mean, I could have always gotten desperate and had Paula pray. I mean, at that point, if we were... <laughs> I thought we were fucked anyway, so... Yeah, Ness caught a whiff of pasta. But just for a second. Ness's soundstone recorded the melody of the rainy circle. Yep, and now the confusion is gone. Yay! And everyone rejoiced. Yay! Sure, we'll take some free... Wow, we didn't... Kill this outright? Seriously? Things crazy. That's the end of that fucker. Wow, that thing's still alive? Okay. <laughs> Alright, they're stronger than I thought. Shit. Well, yeah, we'll take the XP. Wow, they're not running from me. But we'll take that. We will definitely take the surprise opening attack. Fuck yeah, we will. We'll just do that. We'll just wipe it out if we can. Okay. We can kill it before it even gets to act. It's free. Free. Oh, I well, thank you, Freakbot. I appreciate the uh, lurk. Enjoy dinner. We'll see you when you get back. <laughs> oh my god. We gotta deal with all these fucking bears. And the mighty bear seven. <laughs> Jeff's off once we're done by sick. Oh my god. That's a crazy debuff. Okay. So that did fucking fuck all for damage. Okay, we're gonna bash you then, and we will do that damage to the Mighty Bear 7. <laughs> there we go. Mighty Bear 7's dead. That's not okay, boy. Perfect. Okay. Now we can actually fight these things. These things would kill the ever living shit out of Jeff if he tried to fight them earlier. That's why we avoided them, like the plague, when he came through here at like level 8 or something ridiculous. That was, that was pretty crazy. All right, so we got our shining spot by now. The Skyrunner. Perfect. Oh, Ness. Jeff wets his pen sometimes. Oh, no, he's a good boy. Take care of yourself. And Jeff, looks like you found something out. I finished remodeling the Skyrunner. 
You can leave for summers whenever you wish. It shouldn't break this time. Well, maybe. That's uh, not a not very confidence inspiring there, Doctor. So what I'll probably do is we'll try to get, we'll try and get our fourth party member and then we'll backtrack to four side to deal with the la to deal with the fifth shining spot. of it now but here is summers keeps following me around wake up in the morning fall in love eat lunch fall in love and at night fall in love again that's my dream life wow dude oh, there's no map of summers oh right different buttons now <laughs> so yeah here's summers the summers town map and who la la is everything here expensive holy shit so we'll just explore this don't talk to me. My mind is a complete blank. Are you from Eagle Land? If you like adventure, this isn't your kind of place. You should travel across the sea to Scarabaugh from Toto, the port town. So Toto is right next door. So Toto is um, sort of what we're approaching now. There's a present over here or something. Yeah, it's like Florida. <laughs> yeah, everything's super expensive. I like, I like to spend my winters and summers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except less deranged. No shit, Darkstar. You know, it's weird. People here are, in my experience, based, compared to the Northeast, people here are so much nicer in general. But, and, and I think sometimes New Yorkers get a, a bad rap because people in New York are pretty nice. But at the same time, New York, uh, Florida rather, has some of the craziest fucking deranged people I also have ever seen. Like, we get some of the craziest batshit examples of humanity also. So it's like all of the extremes. <laughs> East of here is the port town of Toto. No, no, I'm not a billboard. <laughs> to go to Scaraba, you need to cross the sea. However, a monster named Kraken lives in the open sea. He attacks ships that pass through. Are you scared? So now we're in Toto here. We can go in here. Across the sea, there's a town called Scaraba. It's a mysterious town. It's my dream town. <laughs> yeah, we're going to lose all our money here. Everything is so expensive. It's bad. Oh, let's talk to the cat. Cat didn't have anything to really say. People in New York aren't mean by nature, but have an extreme aversion to being inconvenienced. That is very fucking true. Yes. Do not walk slow in New York. <laughs> yeah, they don't New Yorkers do not handle inconvenience very well. <laughs> if you be heading to Scaraba, you ought to shop here. Things are expensive down there. So what are you looking for? Yeah. Well, yeah, let's buy a coin of defense for uh Oh, yeah, I probably need money. Nope, let's not do anything else. Let's get money, because we're gonna need money here. Oh boy, we're we gonna need money. And that money's gonna go quick. Undo inconvenience specifically, yes. Totally agree. Holy shit. Yep, now her defense goes 58 to 68. Yeah, her defense needs a lot of help here. Um, for the rest of that, we're gonna need a bottle of water is $4. <laughs> oh man. All right. Nope, we're good. So now we head back to Summers. Let's go to the shop there, because there we could buy a frying pan that's better for her than the one in Winters. 
Although it is very, very fucking pricey. Another nice day. Summers always has nice days. So to advance the plot, we need to buy cake. I know that may sound strange, but um, if you're bored, go check out the Scarabag Cultural Museum. It may be helpful to you. They have a hieroglyph from a pyramid. So yeah, we're going to need to go in there at some point. Club Stoic, we need to get in here too. It's not the Stoic Club. Please be on your way. Even though it says Club Stoic on the outside of it. <laughs> it's very, very exclusive. That innate New York walking speed is something that never left me. <laughs> yep. You know, I find that I, I, it's so true. I'm walking around the university I work at, and there are so many times where I'm just like, do you people drive like this? And I'm like, oh, of course you do. Where they walk side by side on a sidewalk and they're just slow as fuck. And then I like speed around them, like put you off on the grass. And I'm like, oh yeah, I, I get that from, from being up in New York. <laughs> it never really leaves your DNA. Summers is a posture sort, made for adults. Welcome to my store, what do you need? All right, yep, yeah, let's. <sighs> yeah, these things are expensive. All right, big league bat. Let's buy that. Yes. And our offense increases a little bit. It actually worked to my advantage in working solo shifts in restaurant kitchen. I bet it did. <laughs> you could buy that. What else do you need? All right. Yes, let's buy the chef's fry pan. So they, yes. And let's see. 72 to 82. All right. That's not too bad. Lucky coin, huh? Yep. God damn. God damn. Yeah, the diamond band is worth getting, but that thing is just so bloody expensive. Let's do the lucky coin. Let's replace the coin of silence. Yes. Upgrade all of our lucky coins here. We'll do that. I could just zip across the line at sub warp speeds, banging out every order as it came in, and everyone else is probably like, the fuck, bro? <laughs> Jeff, all right, so everybody's at least, all right. All right, now we've upgraded those as much as we can. All right, we're gonna buy one diamond band and we'll upgrade Ness. Actually, might just upgrade, Jeez, might just upgrade Paula, actually. Because that's gonna upgrade her silver bracelet and be the best bang for buck here. Let's do that. Yeah, that was a big difference. We need that. We needed that. I don't think I can afford anything else. I think we're good. We're good here. All right, we're not. We don't need to worry about anything else. I mean, I could buy the platinum band instead, but you're better off just saving and doing the diamond band. All right, we're good there. Let's put all this money. Hmm, how much money do I have? Got eight thousand. But oh, you know what? Let's just put. Not what I wanted. There we go. Uh, that way we'll keep 2,000 and we'll be okay. One of my managers during the, my time at hey, uh, Steak and Shake called me Rolling Thunder because of it. Oh, you worked at Steak and Shake. Badass. We actually have a Steak and Shake on campus, but that Steak and Shake sucks. I'd rather drive to frickin' Point and go to the Steak and Shake there. Because the the real Steak and Shake is fucking amazing, at least from a, from a person who eats there. I don't know what it was like to work there or whatnot. You might have a better... I mean, if you said, like, you may think that, but you never want to eat there again, I'd be like, fair enough, I will take... I will take that suggestion. <laughs> but, um, should I become a porter so I can get tips from all the old folks? But uh, I love going to Steak and Shake, but yeah. Um, stop putting your fingerprints over my car, you little punk. So we can go into the restaurant. We're eventually going to need to go to the restaurant to get um, into the Stoic Club, but I don't remember how or why. Pasta, please. We don't have such trash on our menu. <laughs> I love the braised bowl over minced baby leeks. Oh, you're not the waiter. <laughs> we'll come back to the restaurant later. 
We can go to the hotel and at least see how expensive it is. The sky is blue and the sun is high. The prices here are so high it'll make your face turn blue. That's Summers. Yes, it is. I mean, I can only vouch for wherever I work, wherever I work there. Beyond that, it's always caveat mTOR. That's true. But the one you worked at was good to, like, also eat at, I assume? Because the one on campus is not a real steak and shake. It's actually run by Chartwells. And they just put so much salt on everything. I feel like I'm, like, just biting into a salt container when I'm biting into one of the burgers at the Steak and Shake on campus. It's just, it's so fucking bad. And it's such a disappointment because I'm like, when I heard that the state, there was gonna be a Steak and Shake on campus, I was like, yes, this is gonna be awesome. But the menu is very limited. And like half the time they don't even offer most of the shakes. You basically get your choice of vanilla or a uh, taxi. Um, basically you just get vanilla, strawberry or chocolate. Like you don't get your normal, your normal assortment of like shakes you can get there. Uh, obviously the morning works good. Where else I work there? <laughs> okay, good. That's that's always good. <clears throat> Let's see. I just want to see how expensive it is. Hotel de Summers. My name is Rishoa Mrichmande. I am the assistant manager. I'm sorry, sir, but I'm afraid we do not have any reservation under your name. However, we can offer you a room of four fifty a night. Uh, no, I don't. But now we know we need to have $500 to be here and probably like a thousand once we get a fifth party member. We're pretty good, right? Yeah, because we got the revitalization machine. So we're at full. Yeah, we're at full. Good. I, If you have a habit of making a restaurant unsafe you eat at, you might want to find a new industry. Well, I mean, yes, but I've also had, you know, people that are like, yeah, I work there and I quit because it was an unsafe place where people didn't take things seriously, you know? So you just, you just never know. But that is encouraging because I do like Steak and Shake. So hearing that is is good validation. Um, so yeah, I don't I don't have to worry about going up here. You look so serious. You're in summers, a dream paradise. Relax and have some fun. So I'm looking for. Is this? Yep. All right. So we already went around here. So now we need to find the cake stand. I feel like it's here. Hmm. I think it's here. Right, she needs to go back to it. Okay. I need to go to the Stoic Club. Okay. Right. I need to go to the Stoic Club. Okay. I remember now. I remember the order of this whole thing. Okay, we need to go. We do need to go to the restaurant. Because we need to get into the Stoic Club. Because we need that magic cake. We need that magic cake. Actually, I think you're the person... Not you. Drink a glass of grass off. Ice coffee as well. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh my god, again? Ghosty would be like, heresy! I seriously don't know how Ghosty drinks all of that iced coffee. And granted, I don't... I don't drink coffee at all. But I... Like, I'll have like... Like on a heavy day, I might have like two bottles like if I like if I'm out on the run I might get like two bottles of soda like the little normal drink things and I think that would be a lot and you know maybe two cans um although when I'm at a when we're playing D&D &D and I'm binging that then there might be like maybe three or four and that's like the most amount of soda I drink after that I start getting like jittery um I don't know maybe his iced coffee maybe there's not that much caffeine in in and iced coffee, but I feel like there'd be more caffeine in coffee. I like the restaurant. The atmosphere. They have good food, too. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you must have a crazy tolerance for that. It's awesome. <laughs> Bring them in and check out their chores for values. Yeah, other people on important adventures do such things. But you have to admit, it's bizarre. <laughs> All right. I have fake teeth, so I have, like, soft foods. Not like rocks or stones. They're too hard. But if I ever started to drink coffee, goes to be the person I'd be like, what brand of coffee should I get? So where's your mom and dad? I mean, you kids came here all by yourselves? Well, I can make your order to go. What can I get for you? And, um, hmm. Oh, look at that. Pasta de Summers. I thought you didn't serve pasta here. Cafe Bustello. 
<laughs> there we go. Oh, I thought it was royal iced coffee. Shit, I was be like, damn. Crackin' soup, holy shit, man. All right, so a cup of coffee is six bucks. Look forward to seeing you again. Okay. What am I missing? Oh, this fucking thing. Ooh, we got a surprise attack on it. Yes, that's always the answer. Dash the Ohio sign. <laughs> Holy shit, Paula. Not, she's not fucking around. And we just got some free XP. Hey, look, a random encounter. Let's go beat up the taxi. <laughs> Hell yeah. But now what? Oh, and Paula went up a level again. Sweet. You went up by two, hit points went up by five, and side points went up by seven. That's nice. So, I know we need to get into the Stoic Club. Because once we get into the Stoic Club, the lady who sells the cakes... Not the Stoic Club. Please be on your way. Alright, let's go to Toto. Another nice day. Summer's always has nice days. All right, so we'll go to Toto, because somebody in there may have a lead on how to get into the Stoic Club. But that is what we need. We do need to get into the Stoic Club. Across the sea. Yep, we already talked to you. You did the same thing. Good. Nothing new. We don't need to go into the shop. Okay, there's nothing else to do there. Come on. Thank you. I'm a grave robber. I was scared of the pyramid in Scaraba, so I didn't go in. But I tell people that I saw mummy-type monsters with my very own eyes. <laughs> nice, dude. Nice. <clears throat> Stay classy, bro. Do you know the Stoic Club in Summers? You need to call a secret number for a reservation if you want to get in. What? Yeah, I'll give you the secret number. I warn you, though. It's a strange place. Okay, cool. Now we just need to get to a phone. Hello, Jeff. Oh, happy day. I finally got a hold of you. Oh, Jeff, it's me, Tony. I'm collecting players' names for a school project. You know, players just like you. That's right, you, the one holding a controller. Would you register your name, please? Don't spell your name wrong. Thanks, game player. Thank you very much. Is this correct? Yeah, we'll just go with that. I apologize for any trouble this may have caused you. Don't put my friend Jeff in any dangerous situations, okay? <laughs> sure, Tony. I worry about him. I really do. Well, talk to you later. Jeff, I hope that I can see you again when you're feeling up to it. From Tony. You got that? <laughs> well, I've been on the phone too long. Gotta go. Good luck. Take care. So long. This time I'm really gonna hang up. Goodbye. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Jeff, you got a good best friend there. I don't think the hospital has a phone. The museum might have a phone, though. Yes, it does. Call the Stoic Club. Hello, this is the Stoic Club. Oh, Ness, sir. Would you like to make a reservation? Certainly. We are looking forward to having you here. Thank you. We're at it. Save. Actually, we could afford to number another of those diamond bracelets. But we're not going to do that right now. We'll mess around with that in a second. Now we can get into the Stoic Club. We talk to these guys. Didactically speaking, seminal evidence seems to explicate the fact that your, repudi your repudiation of entropy supports my theory of space-time synthesis. Mm. Of this, I am irrefutably confident. I finally awakened the inner me, the true self. The patrons of this club are able to stare into their own soul hard enough to burn a hole in their psyche. I'm now comfortable enough to stare at the real me, the true self, and burn the impression into my super ego. I want to be in this comfort zone at any time, all the time, or at no time. My it is telling me. <laughs> oh my god, these people. I think it's a very complicated issue. Oh, sorry, I was sleeping. 
You know, I really want to eat some magic cake. It's a mysterious work of art. I can't get that cake off my mind. There's only one warm, one woman who can make magic cake. She's hanging out in this club. Yeah, she's over there at the entrance. Anyway, the absolute irony and study of self-identification is blah, 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 blah. I don't know what to do. Hey there. The show? It's already started. Everyone stares at the stone on stage and philosophizes. Can you imagine going into a secret club, hearing about how exclusive it is, and you get a bunch of people in there essentially smelling their own farts and looking at a fucking rock on stage? Can you imagine? It's already started. Everyone stares at the stone on stage as a philosophy. Doesn't it sound stupid? All right. Um, yeah, it does sound stupid. Okay, you're the one. I need to get you. You're not by the entrance, but... Oh, you? Maybe I needed to talk to him first. Magic cake? You came all this way just to eat my magic cake? Yes, yes I did. If a god asks... If someone asks if you're a god, you say yes. <laughs> but yes, these hoity-toity types can kick rocks, right? Your mother philosophizes. <laughs> Why don't you just stop by a little cart out on the beach later? I will do that. All right. Now we find our cart. Should be back this way. There we are. And now things get weird. I don't know who told you. You came from far off just to eat my magic cake? I thought making cakes would be the best career for me. Dig in. I used all leftover materials. This is a very special magic cake. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Ness had a dream. It was a very clear and strange dream. It's the mold that makes it magic. <laughs> Delam, in the Far East. It's the fu it's all fungus, oh my god. <laughs> the Palace of Pooh, the Crown Prince. Who conveniently wears a black belt. Prince Pooh, the time has now come for you to undertake your final trial. Go to the place of emptiness and endure this final test. I am praying for your success in this final stage of your training. And thus... Okay, good. I didn't miss Poo. <laughs> the shit castle. <laughs> you know, I debated whether or not to change the name, right? Because I've never used the standard name, but I'm like, man, I'm streaming the game. Why don't I just do the standard names? Uh, just for anybody that has... You know, just for people who've played the game so they, you know, because they know. Um, use the treasures of the Lam as you wish. Go in peace. So yeah, I just went with the standard names. For better or worse. Who opened the chest? Whoa, there's a couple life noodles inside. That is pretty awesome. Brainstone inside. Yep. Brainstone is good. <laughs> I love the human phone. Hello? Is that you, Ness? Why are you disguising your voice like that? Who are you pretending to be? Oh, well, it's not a big deal. I suppose you need to have a sense of humor at a time like this. Well, expect to get to the next level. Who <laughs> 1390. Anyway, what do you need from me? Record. All done. Your dear old dad was thinking about blah, 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 blah. No, I want him going to get rid of Yep. All right. So Prince P here. Jeez, that's not going to work out any better either. He sits upon a golden throne that uses less water per flush. <laughs> right? Prince, you're my favorite. Tee hee hee. Over here. What is immortality? Is it everlasting life? Mm. Over there. Of course, you're not in training. It seems like it's all you do these days. Why don't you take some time to play with me? I'm so lonely without you. So he's obviously very popular with the ladies. Please come in. Look around the house as much as you want. 
take that because when he drinks water, he regains Psy points. I don't think anybody, I think everybody else does, but when he drinks water, he regains a lot more Psy points. Unfortunately, no. Training changed you. I'm jealous of your training. <laughs> I just roasted some garlic and ate it, so the room still stinks. And <laughs> thanks. Well, I have to go, but I've got to rest the weekend. Stream tomorrow? Yep, I'll be streaming tomorrow night. Um, pretty, you know, the usual, like either six or seven. Uh, so I'll see you tomorrow, man. Have a good one. Have a good rest of your weekend as well. Always good to see you. I heard the prince who is deeply into moo training. I want to help him if I can. Galam restaurant. We accept dollars. <laughs> You're such a hunk. <laughs> I also don't want to completely, uh, tiny ruby, brain food lunch. Yeah, I don't want to overload my, uh, inventory here, but we still have a decent amount. Jar of deli sauce inside. That ends up being a good condiment. I think I could buy stuff here. So let's just... Yep. Bowl of rice gruel inside. Take that. Bottle of water. We serve water at rice school and all sorts of things. Oh, and then we can buy more if I need to. Good deal. I wish I could recover my side points just by drinking water. Even though I've never seen him before, I heard that the prince can do that. I guess I need more training. By the way, just what is side, what are side points anyway? <laughs> Love a little fourth wall breaking there. And of course, these fucking things. As strange as this may sound, there are statues of rabbits blocking your way. And so that's what we'll need the carrot key for later. This is Moo, the place of nothingness. People who train here must first clear everything from their mind. If you can make your mind blank and learn the true meaning of Moo, you'll pass through. You have nice eyes. You must be Prince Pooh. Long ago, I completed Moo training. I want to show you a higher level of intelligence. However, I am still realizing and learning this high level. I'll see you again. So long. Okay. Ah, Prince Pooh, I am a messenger from your master. He sent me to tell you that you must stop your meditation immediately. Prince Pooh, you must come back with me instead of staying in a place such as this. Your master wishes it. Please rise, Prince. Your Highness, you must give up this trial for now. Believe what I say. It is the truth. And if you move, well, that's a mistake. <laughs> yeah, it's it's temptation. We're not going to listen to it. We are going to continue with the meditation. This, this gets weird. <laughs> Prince Pooh, I am the spirit of your ancient lineage. To complete your trial, I'm going to break your legs. You will lose the use of them. Do you accept this? <laughs> so, Prince Pooh, you cannot walk as your legs are broken. Next, I will tear your arms off. I shall then take your arms and feed them to the crows. The taking of your arms. Do you accept this? This is like pretty graphic shit for like an RPG that normally kids would play, right? Ah, Prince Pooh, without legs and arms, you can only lie there. Now I'll cut your ears off. You do not mind my taking your hearing away, do you? Do you accept this? So, Prince Pooh, no legs, no arms, and no sound. By floating words through the air, I must ask you, do you care if I take your eyes? Do you want to live in eternal darkness? I shall steal your sight. Do you accept this? <laughs> so, now I can only communicate directly with your mind. Your mind is all you have left. In the end, I will take your mind. Though you probably don't want to allow that, do you? So you can't answer? You can't even move. Are you sad? Are you lonely? If you lose your mind, you also lose any feelings of sadness. Do you accept this? I will take your mind, Prince Pooh. Know that I will possess it. Prince Pooh, you have now completed your training. The old master must be so pleased. Hurry now and return to the palace. And what's fucked up is the first time I played this, I'm like, 
that's another trick. And I sat here for a while until finally I'm like, oh, they were, they were serious that time. The training was to relive Metallica's one. Yeah. Dig in my arm, dig in my legs. <laughs> <laughs> totally was hearing that song in my head. That is a fucked up music video, too. <laughs> I think that guy only communicated by blinking or something. That is a fate worse than death, man. Oof. I am proud. You have completed your Moo training. There is nothing more to teach you from the Holy Writings. Prince Pooh, I shall relay a message to you from eternity. The evil entity that controls all wickedness is preparing for the greatest struggle of all time. The only ones who can challenge the entity are three boys and one girl. One named Ness is the leader of the four. One of the boys is you, Prince Pooh. Now that you've completed your training, search out Ness at once. For all beings, for the earth herself, I pray for growth in the might of the four. Oh, and now we gained a shit ton of levels. And so he has a slightly better teleport than the one Ness has out of the gate. My name is Pooh. I am the one who will fight beside you. I am a servant of Ness. I will obey Ness. Ness, my life is in your hands. And finally, we're now a complete party. We can actually start kind of shifting some stuff around. Yeah, all right, now we've got some decent, uh, equipment that we can deal with here. Although, who is difficult when it comes to equipment? Let's take a look at the shop and see if he can buy, if we can buy anything for him. <laughs> so you now have full load? <laughs> he will be your number two. At number one, I order you to take a number two. <laughs> can I buy something, huh? Yeah, I don't think he can equip. I don't think Pooh can basically equip anything. Pretty much sucks. Okay, so yeah, that's that's the story there. Nope, won't be anything. Yeah. Please visit for Looky Loos. Now we need to go to Toto and get a ride to Scaraba. Although part of me is almost like this might be a good time to now go back to Foreside and get into the Shining Spot. I kind of think I want to do that actually. But let's see. Yep. Our first photo with uh, the full party here. Everyone's assembled. You know, I could probably judge my progress of this game based on the number of times we get a, uh, a fuzzy pickles moment. <laughs> ah, this is the guy we need to talk to. Thank you, you made my wife wake up. She quit talking about all that serious crap. Yeah, let's work hard. If you're courageous, get on this boat. You'll probably see the Kraken experience getting seasick. After all, it could only cost you your life, and you got that for free. Luck will determine the outcome of this voyage. So do you want to sail the ski sail the seas to Scarava? Twenty bucks per person is fine with me. Let's um let's save the game first. shop because there should be a, a phone in there yep bitch is fine I don't want to do that there we go nice job Seraph save and then we'll sail to Scaraba we've got this Scarva, 
Things are expensive. Let's see. Yeah, we got nothing here. All right, we're good. Nope. Let's do this. Let's see if we're high enough level to do this. Let's try. I wonder where I could buy better bottle rockets. Oh, I bet you I could I could buy bottle rockets at Winners. Mm, do I go to Winners to buy a bottle rocket or? Nah, I'm fine. Let's do this. Let's do it. We're reckless, baby. Bon voyage. <laughs> Yeah, Summers isn't a very big hub. It's a good place to buy equipment, even though it's really expensive. And it's really where we kind of just meet up with Pooh. But we don't we don't really spend that much time in Summers and Toto. Off to Scaraba we go. actually get a better like like idea wait 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 i need to stop the boat it's been a long time since i was on the open seat so i feel seasick oh man what i would do the sailor room gets seasick <laughs> how come you guys are all right so that bald guy over there your, your buddy right he came from delam you guys must be quite the adventurers aren't there times when you just like to go back home so you're not some mama's boy well there are times when we got homesick well, it wouldn't hurt you to go back and visit once in a while. <laughs> I'm feeling much better now. Anchors away. Yeah, it does suck when Ness gets seasick. Oh, that's the worst. Because he turns, he just becomes so useless. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> I don't remember if there's a way to cheese this shit or not. Yeah, let's protect Paula with that. Okay. Do freeze. Good. That's what I want. Man, it's got cra this thing is pretty crazy. There it goes. That's why I like doing uh, freeze because it will it will kind of immobilize it briefly. I am gonna flash. We're gonna try that. Okay, there. We'll just shoot. Yep, we'll just keep freezing it. That seems to be the way to go. Man, it's got such a crazy fucking um, defense that Psy is really the way to go on it. Hard to believe, but I think I'm going to try Flash again. Because again, bashing it doesn't really do a whole lot. As well. And Thunder sucks. This thunder is such a shitty to hit. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh my god. Okay. Shit. I'm going to die before it happens. Shit, shit, shit. Ugh, I'm not going to get it in time. Shit. It's okay. It's okay. So you know what? Let's 
do damage to it. That tornado really fucked things up, man. Get poo the life noodles, because that will life them up. Ah! Oh, I wanted Pooh to get the XP for it too! Shit! Oh, hey, cat! Hello! Man, that tornado came at a terrible time. There we go. Wow. Jeez, Ness didn't even level up. Oh man, I thought you guys were just everyday little kids, but you defeated the Kraken! I also helped in the battle. I, I threw my slippers at the beast. Maybe you didn't notice. <laughs> Hello, Cleo. Hello. What you doing, kitty kitty? Can you say hi? Can you get a pet? I know, I love you too. Hello. Oh, you little headbutts. Gonna headbutt my shin. You're so cute. You're so cute. <laughs> oh, this cat. Hello, cat. My co-host has decided to join the stream, everybody. <laughs> right now, she's just by my feet. As long as she doesn't bite me, we're fine. Ugh. All right. Did you come from Toto by ship? There's a scary monster in the sea. Did you beat him or did you escape? Either way, you're fantastic. This should be the hospital. Yep. Don't know if we can afford him. Yep, can't. Your friend, right? It's very serious. <laughs> yeah, but you don't have an ATM in here. I need... Hotel will have an ATM. The hotel here, I think, is cheaper than Summers. That's how expensive Summers is as a location. It's fucking crazy. Uh, but yeah, let's do this first. I don't want to fuck around here. Deal. Well, Ness is about to level up. Are my alerts not working? Because there might be stuff to buy here. Let's look it up. Perfect. Excellent. Back to the hospital. Let's get Pooh revived. Hey. Yes. He was just brought in. He's still unconscious. Yep. Perfect. Okay. So now that we've recovered, now we're going to go to the hotel and sleep and recover everybody's side points. And then we look around. Come on, get out of the way, buddy. And then once we leave the gate, we'll be back in the blazing desert sun. Great Southern International Resort Hotel. Our range range in price from 60 to 400 a night. Right now, though, we only have our super deluxe suite available. Would you like to stay? Sure. Please let us know if you find any scorpions. It's very unlikely that they will come out, but you never can tell. <laughs> yeah, I'm so glad I'm spending all this uh, money to stay at a hotel with that shit. But you know, it's cool. It's cool. Okay, nothing else. Good, he's got the broken tube. Okay, perfect. Shh, don't talk too loud. What do you want? So I could buy a Bega Bottle Rocket, which I will. I don't think he has any mundane weapons. Nope, you're good. Nope, that's it. Good morning, good sir. Please allow me to read to you the, from the local newspaper, the Scaraba Papyrus. Kraken, the evil sea monster, now gone forever. Well, there is some news here about. <laughs> Let's see what there is to buy. I don't remember there being anything all that great here, but we're going to look anyway. I've never seen you around here. What do you want? You don't have anything you would want. Hell, I don't even remember if there's for sure if there's a drugstore here or not. No, I don't want any mummy bandages. Mummy bandages. No soliciting allowed, please. For this dude. I'm doing this as a hobby. Is it a cool? I recently made a friend. He used to be a dungeon maker, and now he's a dungeon man. Would you like to meet him? Hell yeah, I would. Alrighty then, I'll give you the key so that you can enter him. Oh no, I don't have it. I must have lost it somewhere. I'm sorry. Don't worry about small things. So somewhere there's a there is a key to that, and we're gonna need it. 
Hassan shop. Dollars acceptable. All right, Hassan shop. Hello, cat. You. Welcome, welcome. Patch the heat. Is your body okay? Can I interest you in some of my merchandise? What would you like? Let's see, we got wet towel. We've got some of this stuff. A sudden guts pill. That can be useful for tough fights. But I'm not spending money on that. I've got a family. I got... I got seven kids to feed. I don't remember which of these merchants is worth talking to. Oh, be care. <laughs> a chubby kid did his business out here somewhere. Oh, that's right. Pokey took a shit out in the desert. Lovely. <laughs> oh, okay. Hi, Cleo. Hi. Hi. What you doing? Hi. <laughs> Hopping up looking for more attention. Hello. You want to come up on the desk and get a pet? Hang out with me? Come on, cat. Why don't you hop up? Come up here. You know, being distracting. Being an asshole. Shithead. <laughs> I know, I love you. Yeah. You have encountered a dangerous situation. However, am I wrong? If so, a thousand pardons. Alright, so we need to come back here to that guy a little later. Perhaps I should ask, but I'm sorry. Oh my god, I forgot how bad fun was there. I have seasoning to add your food? No, no, I don't want seasonings. Although condiments are helpful, as we've explained before. Snakes in the sack, please. Very useful item. Do you buy one? I think I do need that. I think that's an important item. But I don't remember now. Don't need any of that. Alright, I think we're good here. Oh, and of course another... Another photo. I know, cat. I love you too, cat. She's just hanging out on the floor being a floor cat here. Petting her with my left foot. <laughs> I think she just wants a pet. Yeah, you just want a pet, but you don't want to actually come up the desk where it'd be easier for me to pet you. you go into the pyramid, prepare well, and be ready for whatever may occur. Well, we've saved and there really wasn't anything to really get, so let's do this. And we do have a map, so we need to get to the pyramid here. We know that. So down we go. Let's not deal with the scorpion. All right. Right. Okay. There's a specific order of this. think I know what's going on here. All right. I know what's going on here. Teleport. Four side. Right? Yep. Damn it. Oh, oh that's, that's bullshit right there. That is bullshit. That is such horseshit. <laughs> yeah, these guys can eat a dick here. I don't think I've got anything really all that good. So we'll just do that. The Dread Skelpion is going to poison everybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, we need the, uh, we need like a fl flame jewel or something like that before we can actually get into that pyramid. So we gotta, we gotta backtrack a little bit. We gotta backtrack. 
Oh, we gained some XP, so that was nice. We went up one level at least. Yeah, he gained two levels. Jesus. That shows how underleveled he was. Well, we did, he also didn't get any XP from the frickin'. Try that again. Oh, come on. Come on. Who is Sunstroke? Oh, Ness is poison. Fine. We'll use this one. I thought I had enough range, but I didn't, so whatever. We'll use Teleport Beta and just get the hell out of there. All right. So onward to, uh, let's see, didn't even, as I thought, Monotolia is a portion of evil's power. <laughs> We're going to go to the hotel, rejuvenate. Oh yeah, we got plenty of money. Oh shit, we got plenty of money. I should have put that in an ATM. <laughs> Oops. Welcome to the Monotoli Grand Hotel. Yes, we're going to stay. Ah, there we go. Hungry HP sucker. Cool. So now we don't need the, the HP sucker anymore. We've got the hungry HP sucker. Sweet. Good morning. This is a unique service. Exclusive to our hotel anyway. Yeah, right. Prince Pooh of Delam visiting Foresight in secret. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen that one, actually. Yep. Got that. Board like to all right so let's try and get the sanctuary location before i sign off here would have liked to have gotten into the pyramid but wasn't wasn't in the cards but we will get what we need yeah we need a jewel that's probably in the hotel or the um museum here means we're going to need to talk to this guy. He's going to ask us for an autograph of Venus, and then we'll go get it. Oh, we need a ticket. <laughs> yes, please go in. You'll find an expert in the arts and sciences. At least I think this is where it is. I wonder how many animals go extinct before human beings discover them. I want to see a live dinosaur sometime in my life. You want to know about something extraordinary? Hmm. You know, there's a new singer named Venus at the Toll of Fifth Theater. Could you bring me her autograph on an eraser? Then I'll show you something extraordinary. Oh, you're going to get her autograph on anything. Don't worry about the eraser. I don't care if the autograph is written on toilet paper. <laughs> Now we go back to the Topola. We'll check out a Venus show. Have her sign an autograph for us. Fortunately, we're going to have to pay to come back into the museum despite the fact that we've already paid to come inside. It is what it is. Not the end of the world. Yep. You. I don't know if I needed that snake bag now that I'm thinking about it. Thinking I didn't. Ugh, oh, right. Oh, baby, baby, baby. <laughs> now I'm thinking Persona. Baby, baby, baby. Du -du -du -du. <laughs> like, nope, that's not the right one. Don't make me hurt so bad. These guys are all stone cold gone for you. Ow, you cute sexy thing, you. Baby, sing to me. Sing to me only, baby. Venus, just sing and I can die. Happy man, baby. Honey, hold you tight. <laughs> Autographed court order. <laughs> Legit, right? Oh, I've already finished my water. Damn, I'm sucking down water like it's going out of, going out of style. Leo has wandered off. Hmm. 
<laughs> that guy looks familiar now, doesn't he? <laughs> so funny you mention that, Dark Star. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god hey ghosty <laughs> slowly wrapping this up I think I want to get to the shining spot first before I kind of hang it up for the night but we'll see we shall see We gotta get our autograph. Ah, oh, you're a friend of the Runaway Five. Did you come to see Ms. Venus? Please, come inside. Quickly. Don't let the other fans see you enter. <laughs> oh, you want an autograph? Okay, I'll give you my autograph on this banana peel. Here you go. Voila! Ness got the signed banana. Oh, and this is a bonus. <laughs> Yeah, Venus is cool. And strangely enough, uh, Venus is more popular here than the Runaway 5 are. Although, Freakbot also was like, yeah, I much prefer Venus. Now we go over to the museum. And deal with some bullshit up here. I love a dinosaur museum with nothing but replicas. Hey, buddy. You've got it. That banana peel has an authentic Venus autograph? Yep, there's no doubt about it. Now for my promise, I'll tell you about something extraordinary. In the next room, there is a light shining from far, far below the manhole. There I found a huge monster rat. Would that be called foul souls? I don't, I'm not familiar with what foul souls is. I'm not trying to pull your leg. I'll let you go there and check it out for yourself. Okay, well, we needed to do this, but we also needed to do, you know what? It was probably the Scaraba Museum in, um... You know what, it was the museum in uh, Summers that we needed. Shit. Oh, fake fossils. Oh. <laughs> you know, Ghosty, you might be onto something. I was a little slow, but... Let's do the... Let's try to do the shining spot here. You engage the filthy attack roach. Yeah, but now when it does that, it doesn't, it's not crippling because we've got good action economy now. <laughs> Ness was like, fuck you, I'm hit, hit, beating the shit out of you anyway. <laughs> All right, who gained some levels? We'll also level up who doing this too. So that'll be helpful. I don't actually remember which way I need to be going. That's part of my problem. <laughs> I don't really remember this. All right, we got a deadly mouse. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, come on. Oh, so lame. 
Oh my god. Alright, so... Uh, let's just get out of here. Oh, and I, by that, I saved Pooh. Hello, it's your dad. You've been out there for a long time now. Yeah, I know. I know, I know. You know what? Sure, yeah. I'll take a break. So clearly this area is still a little high level for me. Uh, handled the roach just fine. But yeah, those uh, mice are no joke. Fucking hell, man. Yeah, let's get Pooh uh, maxed here. Let's just see if there's anything in here. Oh, come on, man. I blame years of having to make puns up for work. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh my god, yeah, that thing needs to die. Uh, in fact, you know what? We're just gonna do, we're gonna go all out. I seem to remember Freeze being good on the Stinky Ghost. We will do that, and Jesus Christ. Um, you know what? Sure. Let's not fuck around. We're not gonna stay in here very long. Now, maybe it was fire. And we're not sticking around here very long. I actually thought it would kill that. Fuck. Okay, but Jeff, Jeff survived. So that's good. You know what? I'm not fucking around. Deadly mouse. And sure. Let's. Deadly mouse is dead. Good. We're pretty much gonna have to already exit out of here. Good, but we'll get some levels. I well, clearly shouldn't be here yet. <laughs> I clearly shouldn't be here yet. If I'm gaining levels just by being here. Broken iron inside. Nope. We're gonna give that to Jeff. We need to go back to Scaraba. Sure, let's attack this thing. We'll deal with the roaches. And then we'll have then we'll go back to Scaraba. Well, there goes Jeff. I did forgot he was down that far. Yep. That's my fault. That's my fault. Totally lost track of where Jeff was hit point, hit point wise. Come on. Really? We're going to miss a billion attacks here? Jeez, come on. Really? Man, they're dodging so much. Fuck. Hell. Fine. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Take that, you little bastard. <laughs> All right. Who needed it better? Who needed the XP anyway? And Jeff really doesn't. Oh, and Paula needed it too. Good. That works for me. Okay. Let's get the hell out of here. We'll get Jeff, we'll resurrect Jeff, and then we'll go to Summers. It's clearly, I should be in Summers instead. Oh boy. Yeah, I thought that was a good time to go there. That was, that was not, not a good time to go there. <laughs> Although I think if I went in there and leveled up a little bit, I'd, we'd probably be okay. But yeah, clearly we're not, not really quite ready for prime time with that yet. Not the end of the world. We'll get Jeff woken up back. I mean, granted, I also was a little sloppy there, too. And that will not help matters. Hmm. Yep. Bring Jeff back. Perfect. All right. We're good here. Now we go... Really? Assholes. Yeah, her, her uh, accuracy is going to be awful now that she's crying. <laughs> These guys are now kind of below my level, but still. XP is good. We like XP. Good. 
Good, thank you. Just give me the XP for it. Go back to Summers. What we really needed... Actually, we're pretty fucked up. Fine. We'll go stay at the hotel. How much are they going to charge us? 600. We've got that. Let's do it. Please enjoy our wonderful ocean view. Oh, cool. Oh, okay. Didn't our, don't I already have the slime generator? Yeah, I've got two slime generators. Oh, whatever. And I don't even think the slime generator is all that useful. Items for Jeff. Sprays a sticky substance that stops the enemy from moving. It can be used many times. Well, I don't need two of them. It is a beautiful view, though. <laughs> I mean, come on. Ah, oh, sorry, you ready on your way to the beach? Here's this morning's headlines from the Daily Summers. Prince Pool of Delam visiting Summers secretly. Thanks, guys. It's a tourist trap. Everyone seems to be nice, but they're just doing it for the money. I know from experience. Yeah, Summers is definitely a total tourist trap. I mean, it's beautiful, but... I heard the security guard in the Scaraba Culture Museum isn't very nice, but he can be helpful. Yep, we're gonna need him. Uh, let's save real quick. Just to do it. Now we'll head over to the museum, see if we can get what we need there, and then we can get into that fucking pyramid. Keep trying to do that. Not yet. Not yet. Set over here. We'll have a couple of random encounters in the um, in the museum. But actually, it was good that we ended up going down to the sewer a little bit. Just because now Pooh having an extra couple of levels will make the rest of this a little easier. But yeah, he's still not quite ready for prime time yet. We gotta level up Pooh a little bit. Oh my god, he does get ass kick. Of course, he also has no items. That's part of what makes Pooh very squishy at this point of the game. And you can give him stuff, but he'll his defense and shit, it'll just go down. Really brutal. Life up. Thank you. Perfect. That works for me. Thank you. That guy's always there. <laughs> I mean, could buy a better, uh bracelet for uh, somebody. I think at this point, let's just get in the museum and see what we can do. Right now, part of the Scarabal Cultural Museum is being remodeled. Do you still want to enter? $3 per person. Study hard. Yep. This. this. Oh. Who's going to gain another level in just a second? level is he? 43, 38, 38. Okay, so she in here, okay, yeah, who is also significantly underleveled for this part of the game. So yeah, he's not going to be all that helpful yet. There must be something teeny-weeny that Mr. Spoon has found. I don't need to know the specifics. Ram Raisin, the fourth casket. Ram Raisin, the fifth training pot. Yeah, I saw a chubby kid about your age here. Looked like he was awfully wealthy. He was being extravagant. So yeah, Pokey's been here. Not until he learns Star Storm. Yeah, then he does definitely become useful. And once he actually gets some items for him, he's he stops sucking too. This room is being remodeled, so I can't show it to you. Oh, the samurai kid is here. Will he be giving me that gem? Yes, he will. You're such a good student. I'm impressed by your passion for learning. Come in. <laughs> what about his brother, Rum Raisin, right? <laughs> now, if you notice, these two coffins, they're moving. Excellent. You feel like you're really experiencing this great historical period? The experience is more valuable than a small gem. Ha ha ha. The other day, a rich kid came to Summers by helicopter. He also took a picture of the hieroglyphs. So we're going to need it. 
I got lots of money for him. <laughs> now we deal with these two assholes. Shattered man. I'm just gonna bash you. I'm pretty sure freeze is the order of the day with you. Please. Yeah. Yep. Spies on the shattered man. Vulnerable. All right. Vulnerable to paralysis. Time for me to blast stormtroopers. Ah, enjo enjoy. We'll raid out to you in a minute. Ah, oh, Paula fucking died. Damn it. Fuck. <laughs> But yeah, we'll join you in a little while. I, I can't I can't tell you when it will be, but I'm already starting to get ready to wind down, so uh, I'm sure we'll raid out to you in a couple of minutes. I don't think the secret herb revives her, though. We did the secret herb last, last time, so yeah, we'll bash you. Life goes. Yeah, we'll resurrect Paula with that. There we go. Now we gained a lot of XP. Mummy wrap. All right. I don't remember what mummy wrap is good for. Wow, that's a good level. Very nice level. Holy shit, that was a great level. Who goes up and level? Wow, that was a good level for him. Ah, uh, now he's brain shocked. And he gained another level. The other level wasn't that big a deal. But we got this one to deal with. We got this shattered man to deal with, but now we know we paralyze him and it's over. <laughs> man, paralysis is such an OP ability in this game. <laughs> it's so fucking OP. So, oh my God, he smashes and then it's only 70 points of damage. That's how weak he is so far. Yeah, he's just... Once he gains some levels, he'll be all right. Oh, there we go. I think that's our record, right? 402? Now Paula's done more damage on a freeze. More rummy wrap. Let's see, does he only gain one level? Oh, he only gained one level. <laughs> but who gained three levels alone? Who read the hieroglyphs? To fight against the invaders, we built this pyramid fortress. However, our efforts were futile and we lost. Nonetheless, our pyramid was protected by the gods of Scaraba. The invaders will be reborn every millennium and will attack again. Even now, the invaders hide beyond space and time and build their evil stronghold. A place out of time is beyond the dark and is even farther beyond the lost underworld. The deep darkness is shrouded, it is without light. Only one with the Hawkeye can pierce the dark. The Sphinx now watches over everything waiting for the coming of a truly brave hero. There we go. All right, so it is... Do, 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 do. Okay. So, yeah. Up, southwest, east, west, southeast. So, yeah, that's the order that we were looking for. But we needed this in order to do it. We couldn't just randomly do it. It wouldn't let us try. Dance in front of the Sphinx. Ness, let's go to Scaraba. The pyramid is the key. Yep. Wait one second. Here's a picture of the hieroglyphs just for you. It's a reward for studying so hard. Paula got the hieroglyph copy just in case we forget. Use it in your human civilization class. Ha ha. Off we go. No. Problem is there isn't a phone down by that sphinx. So I'm debating at this point what's the best strategy because what I could do is just save here and then we'll deal with that later or I could just go to Scaraba and we'll save there but I do want to get that shining spot location before too much time goes by hmm I teleport 
go back to Scaraba. Problem is we're gonna lose who for something in a little bit. So maybe this is the time. You know what? Let's go to four side. Let's go to four side. And we'll do the shining spot location because we're not. Who already gained a couple of levels? I feel like we can do this. I'm not going to do this now. I think we're going to call it here. Because what I may also do is I may just go in there and just level them up a little bit. And then we'll start from there next stream. That might be good. There's no sense in putting you guys through uh, a little bit of a grinding session. But we'll go to the hotel. We'll save. And actually, we'll, we'll spend... Looks like we don't have enough. We need 300. We'll do that. And then we'll raid Creek Bot. It'll be fun. Then I'll actually get dinner myself. So I'm starting to get hungry finally. Took long enough. It's only what? 7 7.30? Yeah. <laughs> uh, right. Welcome to the Monotoli Grand Hotel. I love how it's still called Monotoli. Despite the fact that... Um, that we've exposed him for the crook he is. From page. Oh, yeah, it's the same one. It sucks when they gave you the same headline. I like it when they're more randomized. Right, now we save. We've, we're building up a nice little nest egg in the uh, ATM now. It's coming together. Oh, actually, I could have ended there, but that's fine. So that's, uh, I think that's a good place for us to stop for now. I do believe. Anyway, we've saved it. Yep, perfect. And oh, let's uh, let's get ready to raid. Why, oh, thank you, Ghosty. Uh, I want to thank everybody who followed uh, this stream. We finally hit my my 50 limit, so that my my goal of 50. So now we can, at some point, Twitch will send me some affiliation paperwork. Uh, so that'll be fun. And we'll get some channel points, and we'll. We'll tinker with the stream even more uh, once once Twitch decides to send me that. Um, but again, couldn't have done it without you. I really do appreciate it. So this has been a fun stream for me in that regard as well. And I will be back on. Oh, I thank you. I will be back on tomorrow night for Esos of Filgana. We're going to beat that game. So help me or I will cry trying. <laughs> and uh, that's just that's just how it freaking goes, man. Um, so yeah, uh, let's see. Uh, oh yeah, I'm getting all this stuff done. And that's going to be my plan. It's going to be some Oath of Fulgana. Uh, Freakbot's playing some May the 4th uh, styled uh, or flavored. Oh, I've got a whisper. Raids are off, it says. Huh, that's interesting. I'll have to go in there and see what I did. Um, I must have broken something. And of course, Twitch only recognizes 47 of them, but it's okay. It'll update after the stream is over. And uh, so yeah, I'll have to go in there and see what I've turned off or fiddled around with. Oh, he must have just started. So yeah, we're going to raid Freakbot. I want to thank everybody for coming out. Thank you for spending a bit of your weekend with me. And uh, I hope the rest of your weekend is amazing. But uh, other than that, I think that's all I've got. Yeah, that's all we've got. I'll see you guys. I'll see you. Hopefully I'll see you, many of you tomorrow. Have a good one and take it easy. That's right, I forget. The raid counts down. That was slightly awkward. <laughs> that was me earlier. <laughs> All right, for real. I'll see you guys later. Have a good one.